Monkers. 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 All right. All right. All right. Okay. 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 Uh, hmm. This? I don't know. Something like this. Uh-huh. You have the sudden urge to program Rust? Why, though? That... Why? Isn't Rust, like, really slow compared to C and C++? Like, really... But really slow build times? And the code's really slow because it, it's slow because it's... I guess only only if only if it has the letter C in it can it be fast. I think, right? Is that how? Is that is that how that works? It's not even garbage collected. Yeah, exactly. Rust. See, you're reaching. You're reaching. It's faster to pronounce C than Rust. Uh, pack it up, boys. I think I think we got it. I th I think we learned. Yes, JavaScript is fast. Yeah, crip crip. <laughs> it's it's all unsafe anyways to do useful stuff. Exactly. Rust starts with the C. Um, I don't. I don't know if it does kab kabooty, kabitty, crust. <laughs> All right, chat, we've got a couple things on the docket today. And by a couple things, I mean, I have wow raid in like two hours, which kind of sucks ass. So we're going to have to write code really fast, okay? Can we get some emotes in chat about how fast we're going to write code today? Ugh. Blazing. Okay, we got a resident sleeper in here. It's kind of rude. Okay, we got some perf signs. That's accurate. Uh, we got a X3 Elmo gutted shake. Uh-huh. Write code fast because that's never a bad idea. Isn't that what everyone does? Like, isn't that what all software you use is built on? You can't shit on writing code fast if if everything you use is written fast, you know? The faster you write the code, the faster it executes. Or at least the faster the executives get money, which is more important, you know? Okay, so today we're going to learn how uh, video encoding works. Um, okay, we're gonna start from what we already know. So basically, our goal is to start uh, from the knowledge that we have of encoding. So let me start off with that. Uh, this. LF. Okay. Okay. So I'm gonna draw basically a little bit. It's right in the name, executives. <laughs> What's the, ooh, new credit thing with an umbrella. Is that a mechanical hand? Looks like a mechanical hand. Uh, okay, so here is basically uh, what I currently know about how encoding works. Um, uh, that, okay, I know nothing. All right, so I'm glad we got the diagramming out of the way so we can start on the content. Um, all right. <laughs> so what we need to do is we need to figure out why encoding video is so fucking slow. Does anyone here know why is video encoding so slow? Why does it not scale? 
Video encoding is easy. Just make a GIF with sound. Oh. So many bits. True senior dev style doing diagrams first. Yeah. Yeah, so that's the scrum today. Oh, when are we doing scrum for streams? What we should do is we should start off all of our streams with four to five hours of planning. And then we should spend about 15 minutes doing work and then realize that all of the planning was stupid because the path we decided to plan a year of work around was not a viable strategy. <laughs> Who's the current product owner? A uh, geek at work. Geek at work is the product owner. Let's can everyone assign the ticket to uh, uh assign your your work tickets to Geek at work? Um yeah, just send them your PRs. Uh he's on call this week. I came here to get away from work. Hey, Pikmin Guts, honestly, I think what you've been doing has been great. Okay? What you've been doing has been great. But what we really are looking for is we want you to have a larger impact than you can have on your own. Like, we recognize that you do great. You do great work. However, what we really want is we want you to teach 20 people who we pay half as much as you to do what you do. Um, how does that sound? And maybe if you perform way above your level for a couple of years, maybe we'll give you a promotion to pay you for how much you were worth 10 years ago. Huh? Huh? Sound like a deal? Sound like a deal? I think we got a deal. LG, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime. Don't forget you have a Prime button that allows you to steal from Bezos and give to me. Distribute your wealth to the technical crowd. Pull from management and give to technical people. Uh, Converter, thank you so much for this six months of support. Hell yeah. I didn't know we were supposed to care about latency. Off jaw! Off jaw! Thank you so much for the raid. Hell yeah, how was your stream? What were you working on? Were you behaving today? Were you behaving today? I hope you're behaving today. Vim, 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 vim. Thank you so much for the redistribution of wealth with that Twitch Prime. <laughs> Heat up my Prime juice. Mmm. 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 Ah, uh, here's some Bezos bucks. Ah, my favorite. My favorite. Did you know for every $5 you give to me on Twitch, Amazon pays zero more dollars in taxes? Ah? 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 There you go. There you go. You're basically supporting the economy. Uh... <laughs> okay, so, um... Streamers cut is smaller but pays more taxes based. <laughs> oh, too fucking real. Twitch Prime subs equals end of recession. Exactly. What recession? Uh, okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take a peek into why video encoding is so slow. So my personal view, and this is where we get into personal and emotional and kind of a, a deeper side of my, my personality. My, oh, thank you, Anonymous. Cheer for the 102 biddies. Hell yeah. So my personal view is that if I have a machine that has two cores and I can encode 4K video at 30 frames per second, my personal view, once again, biased, personal, political view is that if I then take those two cores and I make 12 copies of them such that I have 24 cores, I should potentially be able to encode video faster. 
Now, I recognize that that is very, very extreme. I know. I know I have high standards and high expectations of computers and software. That's my personal view. Now, unfortunately, that doesn't seem to be the case. So what we want to do is we want to figure out why that's not the case. <laughs> okay? And no, I'm not tilted, okay? I'm just happy. Live video encoding or re-encoding entire files? I mean, it's the same thing. Okay, real question. If the frame is split and encoded on different cores, could the border pixels have slightly different colors due to compression? There needs to be smoothing? Yeah, but in reality, my view is, can you not split up an image encode the pieces of that video, and then from the pieces of that video, combine them together with something that is mathematically a little bit easier than the whole compression of the image and thus produce a stream. You know? Indexing and look ahead is the main bottleneck, uh, which for real-time applications applies like every second instead of just once at the beginning. Sick. Thank you, Anonymous Cheer, for the 100 bitties again. Well, it could be a different cheer, but it's probably not. Oh, my God. This water tastes so good. Why is it that nothing can taste better than water on, on the right day? Sounds like a plan. Well, we don't have a plan, Big Rick. Don't, 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 don't. Don't put words in my mouth, Big Rick, okay? Okay? We don't have a plan here. We have a frustration, right? And if anyone is familiar with the scientific process, Firefox, scientific process. Okay, so we have the scientific method here. And so what the way this works is you start off the scientific process starts off with a, it starts off with a frustration, okay? Frustration, okay. So you start off with a frustration and then you question it and then you come up with a hypothesis and then you experiment and then this leads to, what does this lead to chat? Since we are, we're not, we're not doing science, we're doing software. So this leads to a disappointment, okay? So there we go. So this is basically the process that we're going to use today. We're going to use, we're going to use our frustration. We're going to question things. We're going to come up with a hypothesis of how to make them better. We're then going to do an experiment which is going to lead to a disappointment. <laughs> Mamma mia! Thank you, Anonymous Cheer, for the more biddies. I'm not going to count all those ones up. That's a lot of math. I think it's like 120 or something. Probably 150. I don't know. Mamma mia! A pizzeria! Okay. Uh, and the disappointment is the result? Uh, that explains all the Electron apps we have to deal with on an everyday basis. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and then there's the final step. The final step after, after disappointment. And this is when, this is when, uh, okay. I would like to draw a line, please. Okay. Is that, okay. Um, okay, uh, okay, uh, oh, there we go, there we go, we got it. And then this leads to, um, this leads to, uh, after we get the bad result, this leads to a patent by executives, okay? And there we go, that is the process right there. Does anyone have any questions before we begin? Any questions? 
now is your last your last chance for any questions on the process that we will be using today. And we'll tilt it a bit because we're tilted. <laughs> <laughs> is this process under NDA? This is actually patent pending. If you do the same process, uh, you will be banned. Okay? Well, if he wants to use this uh, for Twitch, he can't use MPEG-2 or HVEC anyways. Yeah, it has, to, it has to be an in-spec stream. There you go. Woo! <laughs> no more questions. We need to be frustrated first. Yes. Okay. So let's start off our frustration chat. All right. Uh, okay. We don't need to save that image. Twitch only accept H.264. Yeah, basically only ev everything only accepts H.264. Uh, no worries here then. I'm frustrated after every step. Perfect. So what I did is I cloned the H... The X264 project, which is an open source project that you can find the code at Git origin get get show or get get remote origin how do i show it get url get you get get remote get get url origin okay so this is what i cloned it's made by vlc get remote v origin no one no one even suggested what i would have done Let's see if this even works. Is chat even right? Ah, uh, I mean, I like mine more. This one has extra characters that you would have to regex to parse off. Right? So, once again, chat. Not so hot. Not so hot. Okay? Um. <laughs> Who said we were parsing? <laughs> Okay, so I cloned this, and then I built it in probably build, and I'm guessing I did configure. This is how I built it, okay? Here, we're going to follow along, chat. We're going to remove the build folder. We're going to make the build folder. We're going to see that we have no changes to this tree. We're going to go into build. We're going to configure it for March native, because I have AVX 512, just in case that does anything. Probably doesn't. I think they do all of their AVX stuff in assembly. I don't think they do it in C. And then I set debug for both C flags and LD flags. So we configure it. And then we're going to build it. Okay. And it's building. It's doing a great job. There's only AVX 512 and HX265. Really? Well, that's a scam. Raise your hand if you feel scammed right now. I do. I feel scammed. All of my cores. How is the stream quality, by the way? Is everything looking good today? Chat, are you looking good today? Yeah. Yeah, you are. <laughs> Uh, which is your Endian today? Uh, a uh, friendian for frustration Endian, but also friends with chat. Nice camera lighting too. Is is it not shit? Cause I should be washed out. The sun's like all up in my business, you know. Looking super crisp. Oh, not as good as you, you fucking assholes, spoiling me. Glowing. <laughs> it, wait. Is that an insult? You just have a god tier camera, the sun doesn't matter. Yeah, we actually are overexposing right now. Uh, my ISO is blinking at 80, saying it wants to go it wants to go lower ISO, but it can't. Considering the ma the amount of backlighting, yeah, it is pretty good, isn't it? Whoa, is that our incel? <laughs> hey Moonfair, how are you doing? <laughs> how are you doing today? Okay, so I have an example video that I recorded the other day that I think is decent for bitrate, and it represents a desktop capture, which I put somewhere in here. 
test.mkv. So FFmpeg I test.mkv. So this is a 1080p 60 FPS video, which is basically my desktop in 444. So this, this right here is what I would like to stream. I would love to stream to Twitch in 444, 1080p, 60 frames a second. If I could do that, I'd be really happy. Is T-Zoobs what's popping in here? Not too much. We're about to be raiding in a couple hours. I hope you're prepared. I hope you're prepperinoed. Hell yeah, thank you for the Twitch Prime. Gentoo, what do you mean lol Gentoo? What do, what do you mean lol Gentoo? The fuck that, what's that supposed to mean? Uh, you also want to make sure the transfer primaries and matrix are correctly set to BT709. They are. For this. This is, this is literally, this is basically exactly what my desktop recording is. Right? This is the ideal thing. And then the bitrate's really high. And once again, I think this is set with a, a QFC RC MCCF of 17. A QF? A Q, a, uh, uh, I don't know what it is. A CQP, I think this is CQP 16 or 17. I thought Twitch only let you do 6,000. No, it lets you go way over that as long as you've already subscribed to the stream. So theoretically right now, I could put my bitrate to like 100 megabit and you would get 100 megabit, but new viewers wouldn't. So basically, if you're already streaming and like have already TCP synact, then I can technically jack it up. Uh, I suddenly wonder why do some streaming sites have hardware decoding in their players, uh, but Twitch doesn't? Would it be less CPU load and less heat? Uh, theoretically, yes. So it should probably be less heat because your GPU probably can decode video more optimally than your CPU can. That being said, your CPU is probably not idle when you're on a web page. And I don't know if it's worth taking your GPU out of sleep to deco. I, it's hard to say. It's genuinely hard to say because I would imagine your GPU is probably like three or four times more efficient. But it might be more efficient to use the hardware that already is out of like a, a low power mode. I don't know. <laughs> I'm hardware decoding this stream right now. Oh, okay. Are you watching in VLC or something? Pretty sure Twitch player does do hardware decoding. Uh, they switched over to WASM a, a while ago. Oh, I haven't even noticed the switch, so that's good. Okay. So anyways, this video, this stream is, um, this is, I think, some WoW footage. Yeah, this is me doing some stuff in um, in AQ40. And we've got 40 minutes of this, and I think I'm active kind of the whole time. I'm dying a bunch. I'm trying to, like, skip past some stuff. Um, this should be a decent level of encoding load compared to... Um, rip. Uh, it should be, basically be... A decent amount of like pixel movement and pixel complexity such that this should stress encoding relatively well you can see a lot of times i'm like idle so it's not too hard but it's also not like writing code where it's text on a screen so this is meant to be like a medium case workload right uh or more specifically it's just footage i had laying around on disk um, and then, if I'm not mistaken, one of my viewers, I mean, I'm, I'm not mistaken, one of my viewers made a thing that allows me to see the bitrate over time. Let's see if it works. Let's see if Desu's code works. I'm going to go with a 20% chance that it works, okay? Which is a pretty high chance, considering it's Desu's code. Uh, so we're gonna get clone his little repo, and it's written in Rust, so we should be able to just do cargo run release, and yeah, it's doing stuff. These are the updated settings you're talking about. The reds look really crisp. Yeah, everything's very crisp. Desu bad code. I thought we didn't trust. We definitely don't trust Desu. <laughs> okay. Q 
keylogger and gauge. Okay. Oh. There's an API for serial ports, but not for hardware decoding. What's wrong with that? New stream settings are fire. Yeah, but they're unfortunately the new stream settings don't allow for 60 frames per second, which is kind of cringe. Gotta love the build times. They're a little cringe, but we're building the entirety of FFmpeg, so it's not too bad when you factor that in. Please specify. It's so, it's so nice. Please specify an input file. I would probably say something like, yo, where's the... No, I would just crash. I would just deref the, the second arg and just crash. Uh, who does bounds checks? Rust is a safe language. You don't have to do bounds checks. <laughs> Pathetic. Compiling FFmpeg is always a joy. That wasn't too bad. We didn't get a spew of warnings and errors, so that's... That's a that's an improvement. Um, okay. So in theory, I can then go into my H264 folder and give it my test. And okay, it's doing stuff. Okay, that's a good sign. And then in the repo, he says to run it on awk or something. So we're gonna log this to a file. Okay. And then he gave me an awk. Okay, we're going to run awk, and then this is going to... Well, he didn't give me a fucking plot! Okay, we got video rate, and yeah, okay, we can get a new plot this. Plot dot plot, uh, set term wixt size 1440 900 persist. Uh, plot video rate, who uses hyphens? Uh, using one, two with line, and then set X label time seconds, and then set Y label, uh, bit rate in bits per second. And I think we're going to convert that to megabits. So we'll just do this mine, uh, over 1E6. Okay. So here's the bit rate of that video. It's in the assets folder? What? It, what is? Oh. Oh. Well. Well, 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 rip. Uh, well, we made a better plot. Uh, okay, so here you can see the bitrate of this video. It's pretty mixed. I must have been idle during this point, probably was AFK. And it looks like I go down. The lowest points are, the lowest consistent points are roughly like three or four megabit. And then it spikes to like 40 megabit for like high movements. And then it sits around 15 megabit in this area. So this probably due to this region averages out to probably 15 to 20 megabit, right? So it's not too bad. Um, this doesn't look bad at all. Okay. Um, being mixed is good. If it's constant, you're wasting bitrate. Yeah. So this looks pretty good. So this is roughly what we're starting with. So when we're doing benchmarks, when we're doing our testing and we're comparing, this is kind of our baseline. This is like what we're encoding. So chat, I have, I have 24 cores, 48 hyper threads clocked at 2.1 gigahertz turboing to, I don't know, probably like 2.8 or 2.9, okay? So, how quickly do you think that we can encode it with our build of X264? So, uh, let's see their kind of default option. Actually, let's just do their full default. Their full default should be that we can just give it a dash I or a dash O for an output. So, we'll say out.mkv, same container format, and then test.mkv. So this is just default. Uh, let's take bets on... Uh, let's see. We can actually do like a smaller font now. Okay, I need to change my htop settings. Uh, meters. I don't want 1 through 8. I want 1 through 4, I think. 
Okay, there we go. That's what I want. Uh, that looks good. And then three and four. Here we go. And then save those and quit. There we go. So basically, I've got 24 actual cores. Uh, Firefox is using a lot because I have the stream up. If I pause that stream, that should drop down. There we go. And uh, honestly, I might pull up Twitch chat in... Uh, do I have Chatterino? No, I'm going to build Chatterino real quick. So basically, I want to close all my Electron apps. Uh, oh, I can just download it for Linux. You know what? I'm going to build it. I think it wasn't too hard to build, was it? Chatterino. Let's, let's see how hard this is to build. Let's take some bets. Uh, I'm just going to say... Uh, oh, they have a command there. Chatterino 2. And then we're going to go into there, and we're going to build it, and it's just, it's just going to work. Yeah, it's just going to work. Okay, easy. All right. Kamosa will never use the GPU until Ruda exists. That's probably true. I don't know. Like, it's, it's hard to say what I prefer here. I think I prefer CPU because then I get a lot more control. GPU, I'm a little bit more limited to uh, some stuff, I think. Maybe. I don't, I don't fucking know. You think I know what I'm doing here, chat? Uh, Chatterino, and then make their build, CD build, CMake. Uh, I just want to grab the flag. Release with debug info. Here we go. Um, okay. Make J48. I didn't even look at the options. Hopefully it's good enough. You're definitely more limited in settings by using GPU encoders. Yeah. I don't know. I've been very disappointed with GPU encoding performance. It's pretty pathetic. Okay. Isn't it crazy how just having Firefox open with Twitch chat is like fucking 100% CPU usage? Isn't it cringe? I think it's cringe. Come on, Chatterino. C++ takes so long to compile. Wah! Wah! It takes so long to build. Wah! Wah! It takes, it takes less time to build 80 dependencies in Rust, including the entirety of FFmpeg, than a single C++ project with a couple hundred files. Wah! Wah! <laughs> <laughs> ah. <laughs> All right, let's see if this runs. Uh, no, I don't want to change log. Okay, log and expired. Okay, so I'll have to log in. I try adding your account. Okay, this. Okay. Uh, I did. Okay. Oh, I just have to add. Oh, I see. I see. Okay. Okay. I, I see. Uh, do not show on stream. Okay. Uh, I kind of want to show it on stream, though. I think that would be really fun. Right? Like, wouldn't that add some spice in our life if we showed it on stream? Uh, okay. And then what am I doing? So, chat areno. I copied it. And then, where's paste login info? I didn't get that prompt. I'm getting fucking scammed. Where's the option for... What? What? At what? Oh, there's a hidden window. I see. I found it. I found it. Okay. Uh, I think we're in. You can trust us. I can. Okay. Now. Oh. Is it just going to show up in here? No? No, I don't think so. I don't think we leaked. But maybe we did leak. That would be fun if we leaked. Uh, okay. Uh, and exit. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if it's in that log. It didn't. I was looking. That's exactly what you would, would say. Uh, okay, so now, check this out. So here's... here. OBS is using 122. Firefox is using... Uh, what is that? Like, almost a whole 100%. 
Oh, it's not sorted anymore. Okay, well now Firefox isn't using anything. Oh, it's only if I... What? I don't understand it. I'm going to close Firefox. There we go. So now we're using Chatterino. And, uh, sweet. So Chatterino uses still 20%, which is pathetic. Because it's, it's literally... It's, it's literally a chat, okay? Um, yep, and of course it needs, you know, two and a half gigs of virtual memory to, to handle chat, because that's, you know, that's reasonable in this day and age, I guess. Sick. Least performant IRC client. Ah. Well, luckily it's only using 100 megs. God, that's so sad, dude. The memory usage is your scheduler's fault? Is it, though? Because I'm pretty sure if I were to write a small application, it would not use that much virtual memory. <laughs> oh, well, RAM is cheap. It is virtual memory. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. So, uh, here's what we're going to do, chat. We're taking bets. How many frames per second can we encode this video at? So Desu's tool was able to give us the bitrate, like, how fast can we decode it? How can we ch check how fast we can decode it? I don't want to encode it. I just want to decode it. What's a good test for that? Is there, like, a VLC with no frame rate matching or something? FFmpeg. Uh, X264. FFmpeg i test.mkv and then how how do I like what do I do here? What do I do? Um Is there a way to like dev null it? Set the output to dev null, that's still probably going to decode it, right? I want to I want to benchmark the decoding of the input. Basically, I don't want to do any encoding. I just want to make sure that we're not biasing it. I want to make sure we're not bottlenecking on decoding the input, which we shouldn't be. Oh, discard. What's discard? Discord. Discard. Missing arguments for discard. Uh. 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 It doesn't say there's an argument for it, so. Um. Hmm. Let's see. Uh. FFmpeg decode only. Uh, 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 decode benchmark? I don't know. Oh, there's a null mixer. Ah, uh, here we go. Input dash F null dash. Okay. Oh, you can also do a dash dash benchmark. Or this. Okay, so we can decode it. And it's using 11 cores, but we're decoding at 600 frames a second. That seems slow. But it is using 10 cores. Thought that would flood your terminal? No, I, I don't know what the dash is for. Uh, you can see output to pipe, output null at uh, null encoder. I think what we've done is we've said output to standard out, but since we're using the null encoder, it's not producing anything. So I think this is probably accurately benchmarking how fast we can decode, which is honestly kind of pathetic. Ah! 
<sighs> Why is it so bad, chat? Like, this is a, a 11x speed up? What the shit? It can't be that hard to decode. Because it's FFmpeg? <sighs> Anyone have 100k channel points to spend? Monkas. Okay, so that's really sad. Okay, let's do a... a uh, you can do end time. How do you set the end time? I think SS is the start time. How do you set the end time? Two. Time stop. Two. Uh, let's just do like, uh, what can we do in a reasonable amount of time? We're getting about a 10x, so a minute would take, um, a minute should take about six seconds. Okay, what? Well, okay, so I guess I'll say this, 100. I think it's the ordering. J Chad, thank you so much for the donated sub. I think it's the ordering of the arguments. Two, one, oh, oh. It's the ordering. Called it. Called it. I didn't even get to frame. What? I said to stop at, at, one minute and it went to a minute 26. Ordering matters for FFmpeg. Yep. <sighs> yep. I'm dumb. Yeah, you're yeah, that's okay, Zano Bueno. That we're not judging you for your stupidity here. Um, everyone's allowed to be equally stupid. Okay, let's uh let's see some profiling on this. Um Are there any zoom zoom options we want to use? Uh, I reserve the right to be the stupidest in here. Ah, uh, you got some competition. Okay, so we'll start up VTune. Okay, VTune doesn't seem to start if you don't give it a console, I guess. So we'll give it a console. Sick. Oh, wait, no, that's not VTune GUI. Ah, I see. VTune hyphen GUI. There we go. There we go. We were just being dumb, chat. Okay? Uh, so now what we're going to do is we're going to make a new project. We're going to call this uh, Undead Leech is going to be the name of this project. Uh, that way, if we get really dumb results, it uh, kind of makes sense. Then we have the parameters uh, dash I... What do we want? X264? Um, home pleb X264. Test.mkv. FFmpeg. Then we want dash two. One minute. F null dash. And then we don't need the benchmark option. I think this is good. Let's see what happens. Uh... 
Oh my god, why? Why? How do I run it again? How do I run it again? <laughs> I bet this would work out of the box on Windows 11. Oh my god, okay, so how do I, how do I do it again? No, okay. Um, okay. Okay, uh... Uh... Uh, okay, uh-huh. Oh, this one? Oh, configure analysis. Here we go, we got it, we got it. Uh, so what was the problem here? Uh, native... Select finalization mode. Full. Um... I don't think this is doing everything. Where are my options? Where are my options? Why do I have no options? I mean, it's not like it's gonna work anyways, because it's, it's just gonna... Wait, does it work this time? I don't know. Okay. Um, so let's do... Let's do some parallelism analysis. And I think we have to run it again. I uh, can't start this because the P-Trace scope is... Yeah, okay. Uh, let's just run this as root. Okay. No monkas for root, okay? No monkas for root. JavaScript was the problem. It was just warming up. Uh, wait. Why does that not open as root? Oh, my God. Uh, could not parse server address. GPU process host. Okay, so I need to probably set display equals colon zero. Okay, so it just... Okay. Oh, authorization required. Oh, that's the... Uh, that is the, I need to copy, uh, sudo copy my x authority to root x authority. Okay. We did it. Woo! <laughs> okay. Wait. It, okay, now it opens, but just does this. Okay. Uh, do I need to set the exit authority path? Environment variable? Uh, home pleb x authority? Okay, that really doesn't work. Um, uh, mm, Mmm, uh, okay, and rep off. No, I definitely set that right. What the fuck? Oh. Mmm, root, x authority. Oh! This time it worked. Okay. All right. Okay. Let's, uh, let's do it. Let's make a new project. And we'll call this one, uh, jchad4. Um, and then... FFmpeg. Uh, FFmpeg these options then this is home pleb x264 slash this and then full finalization 
And then I think we have to run this, and then it will give me options for more running stuff. I don't know why I can't set them the first time I run it. Okay. 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 Okay, that's great. Okay, so now we can analyze... Uh, let's analyze threading. And I think we have to run it again, because now we have these options, these how options. Oh, maybe I had those options before, did I? I don't know. We'll do threading, and then which one do I want? I want the lower overhead one, sampling interval, one millisecond, collect stacks, uh, stack size unlimited, fuck yeah. Not allowed if the driver's not loaded. Okay. Well, let's just see what happens. Um. So I see it doing the encoding, and there we go. It's done. Or decoding. The 4K stream looks good. Hell yeah, it does. I didn't even know Twitch let you stream in 4K. You can stream in anything to Twitch. There's no rules. Okay, so now this is taking longer to process. That's good because that means maybe we have more data. I don't fucking know. <laughs> Besides this issue, is VTune useful? No, pretty much never useful. Okay. So it did find my drivers. That's good. It found my drivers. Stream in one by one, please. Okay, uh, chat. So I need some help here in interpreting this graph. Can you help me with the, my graph? Here's what I need help with on this graph. Um, you see on the bottom where it says idle, poor, okay, and then ideal? Where are we at on that graph? God damn it. <sighs> Looks pretty ideal to me. If you change your perspective, poor could also be ideal. That's what I'm talking about. Anti nov. <laughs> So this is the average logical core utilization, and this is the average physical core utilization. Um, and I'm just gonna I'm gonna add a new benchmark in here in this range down here, and we're just gonna say down here it's not poor, it's it's shit. It's conserving energy. Energy is expensive these days. Twitch doesn't let me watch in 1080p, only 2160p. Yeah, welcome to the club. Time to time to watch in 4K, baby. Get some quality. Okay, so let's see what the bottom up is. Any bottoms in chat? Raise your hand if you're a bottom. Um, okay, so here's all the threads. How many threads did it spawn? Put the 2160p video on a 1080p monitor. Yep, that's going to be the best quality that you're going to get. Uh, so it looks like it spun up some threads and then didn't do anything. Can I get, like, uh... Process. Here we go. Here we go. And what's the scale here? Uh... Show time scale as... Oh, cool. Oh, you can do the timestamp? Oh, fuck yeah. Ba band height? Rich? I don't know what that means. Oh, the Primogen finally subscribing to my stream. That's nice. Glad I'm glad that you finally decided to show support. Oh, shit. Okay, Primogen, thank you so much for the, the 10 gifted subs. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. Thank you so much, Primogen. Hope you're having a good day. Hope you're not having a bad day. Uh... 
On Twitch, bitrate what matters way more than resolution for the quality. Technically, technically, for us, the resolution matters more. Fuck you. You can't. You've said nothing. You've said T1. Then you said fuck you, you. And then you said fuck you. I mean, I ain't hating, okay? Look, if you're here to be disrespectful, you're welcome here. Uh, okay, so I want to set this to an absolute scale. But I don't see a way to do that. Uh, process thread. What's this? Okay. <laughs> Clearly the guy knows what he wants. Big fan here. How big? Like a 40-inch fan? A 30-inch fan? Are you like a window fan? Like a box fan? You like a CPU fan? You like a 1U fan? Like one of the tiny ones that spins at 30,000 RPM and goes, Yee! From the other room? I am writing algorithms. Like a beat? You're about to drop a, a diss track? Big ass fan, big ass. Oh, dude, I want a big ass fan. Logical core. Oh, okay, that's my core CPU usage. Physical core, okay. Hmm. Well, interestingly, you can see that it's spiky. Spin and overhead time. Yikes. Clock tick sample. I don't know what that is. Oh, it's telling me on the bottom where it actually did sampling. So I think I can zoom in on these. Oh, wow, look at this. Look at this. We're zooming. Okay, so it seems to spike to like 13 cores of usage, and then it decides to spend a while with two cores, and then, and then it goes back up. So uh, I would say I'm disappointed right now. I'm about as disappointed as uh, anyone who develops in JavaScript. That's how disappointed I am. On processes and threads, what does the arrow to the left of the process name do if you click it? Y you right. You right. Okay. Uh... Okay. So if you hit this small gap in the graph, you can scroll the graph. If you just nail this gap, but if you miss the gap, basically sometimes it zooms, sometimes it scrolls, depending on uh, what pixel your mouse cursor is on. Really like that. That's nice. I had a hunch. Yeah. You officially hurt three quarters of Twitter. Well, so here we can see it takes about 175 milliseconds for it to come online, which is about the time that it takes for Twitch chat to fire one neuron. Um. And then you can see the threads come online. And then it starts doing processing. Okay. Anyways, let's look at what it's actually doing. <laughs> uh, effective time in decode residual. Uh, I feel like there's got to be a better view. Here's caller callee. Let's see what this is. Uh, effective time, 86% in decode slice. Okay. And now I clicked on that, and it's going to show me some source and assembly, maybe? Okay. Uh, so basically, looking at this stuff is pretty much always useless. Um, even though we have full symbols... I mean, it doesn't look terrible. Decode MB cal Cavlic. And I don't know what these numbers are. Effective time. CPU time spent in the user code. Does not include spin and overhead time. Okay. Do we have any spin and overhead time? Let's see if there's assembly. We'll probably just highlight the call. Okay, we're just going to look at the, the tree, I think. Maybe. This is what I want. I think the tree... What CPU are you using? Two... somethings. 
Uh, two uh, Xeon 4310s. Okay, so this is good. It starts off with saying 99% of the CPU time is in here. That's good. And then we have... Uh, Let me double check that my eyes are working right now. Um, are people seeing what I'm seeing? Are we spending 30% of our CPU time launching threads? Does it like launch a, does it launch a thread every fucking frame? Like they do realize that launching threads is not a not a free operation, right? Like you have to make a stack, talk with the kernel. The kernel has to allocate some resources, put you on a list, put you on the scheduler list, wait for a context switch, context switch, execute your under start code, which then will set some variables for your globals, set up your thread locals, allocate allocate some heap stuff such that you can create thread locals, set that with a syscall to set your GS base so that you can set that up. Like, like it's not, it's not, it's not creating a thread every frame, is it? <laughs> I'm, let's, let's give them the, oh wait, is that where we're zoomed in on? Oh, please, please be like where we're zoomed in on. Let's highlight this region. Zoom in on this. Okay, I think this is just of everything. Um. Holy shit. <laughs> Could just be the entry point. Um. Uh, yeah, it could be. Let's see. Okay, maybe. Maybe. Execute. Okay. Okay. Maybe. What's happening here? Why are there multiple... St oh my god. Okay. So this is why profilers suck. Um, because here you can see our start... We spend 4.6% of our time in start thread. We also spend 27% of our time in start thread. And on top of that, we spend 37% of our time in start thread. Um, so that's really useful. So, uh, profilers, yeah, exactly, right? Lol profilers, uh, very accurate. Very accurate, lol profilers. Um, Decode MB444. Okay, so here we have another thread. Um, the fuck? Can I group these? But here's source function stack. Let's see if this does something. Now we have total. Now we have, okay, we still have, okay. So this is meaningless. Uh, here's caller call E. 86% of our time in decode slice? I don't understand how we spend less time in decode slice than we do in, like, start thread. If start thread is wrapping decode slice. <laughs> this is awful. Profilers are really hard. I I personally don't think profilers are really hard. I just think most of these profilers just... I think stack walking is really hard, is the problem. Um, What do we do here, chat? What do we do? It's effective time. Is it top of stack frame? 
that's what, how I interpret it. Like, well, I have, I have bottom up, I have caller callee, and I have top down tree. I would expect top down tree would start at the top of the tree and then go top downwards towards the down direction, but it seems to just start from like four different tops. So that's not super useful. And then this one, I don't really know what this means because we spend a lot of time in decode slice, but not in start thread. So I'm not sure. <laughs> Classic top down, but it's actually just top downward dog water view. <laughs> <laughs> Any pooling profilers just shit? Pretty much all profilers are shit, to be honest. Which makes no sense. Because they shouldn't be, right? Like, in my opinion, they should be good. Uh, so I don't really know what to do here. Okay, anyways, chat. Let's, let's get back a little on track. So we were able to decode. We can decode our video at 600 to 620 frames a second, right? So if we have, if we're running 600 frames a second, how many frames a second do you think we can decode and then re-encode this using the default options for X264? And also, how many threads do you think it will use? One would assume the company that makes CPU would, uh, could tell you what the CPU is executing, but hey, I mean, it's a hard problem. <laughs> um... X264 defaults are probably stupid fast, so probably 600 again. All right, here we go. Yay, we got, we got 10 cores of CPU usage and 40 frames a second. So we are enabled to encode this video in real time. Um, yeah, we cannot encode this in real time. <sighs> so that's great. And it's using eight cores. Great scaling. Great scaling. It's speeding up. I, I don't think it is. <laughs> I don't think it is. <laughs> it's actually uh, dropping. <laughs> it's actually it's actually about to go under 40 here. <laughs> so, oh, now it's going back up. Probably at a lower bitrate part of the stream. So, uh yeah. So, um okay. What about FFmpeg? How fast do you think FFmpeg can do this? So, remember that was on 10 cores. And that was profile high. Uh so what's this going to be? Oh, FFmpeg is the opposite. You give it an input and then you give it an output. Uh, overwrite, yes. Okay, so FFmpeg can do 115 frames a second, 130. Which is interesting because it is using the same library and also high. So that's, you know, interesting. It's using a little bit more core. <laughs> FFmpeg has terrible defaults for H X264. Interesting. Huh. What do, what do they set that's bad here? Arguably, this is not doing a color space conversion, but I can't imagine color space conversion is expensive. Is IDR generation the same? I have no idea what IDR is, so I, I don't know. Uh, inter, inter dweebus rendering. Uh, but they are faster? Okay. So does that mean that we can get a faster X264 mode? What settings do you want here? Um, we could say, we could say dash dash tune. I guess we don't want to tune. 
We can do profile. Hi. Color space conversion is super expensive. I mean, it shouldn't be. Like, yeah, you have to touch every pixel, but it's the same transform on every pixel. It's not like compression where it's dynamic. Like, I feel like it should be basically instant. Preset changes speed. Okay, so we'll do ultra fast. Okay. Now we're getting... Now it's... Oh, oh, there we go. Now it's using two CPU cores. There you go. Now it's using two cores, and it's getting the same FPS. Woo! A little bit faster. <laughs> nice. Okay, two cores. Chat, let's get some claps in here for scaling. Woo! This is the best software in the world for video encoding. Two cores. Woo! Okay, uh, let's try placebo. Let's go on the other end. What do we get for placebo? Uh, I don't think we've decoded a frame. Oh, there we go. Okay, now it's getting, it's now using 21 cores. Oh, 14 cores, 19 cores, 20 cores. We're getting six frames a second. So that's not bad. Horizontal scaling. I'm gonna make great use of my Core 2 Duo, though. <laughs> Kubernetes. Yeah, can we just put this in MongoDB? If we just put all of our frames in MongoDB, does that give us cores? Or something? <laughs> uh, okay, so... Okay. So it seems to use more cores. Um, can I tell it how many cores to use? What's level? Um, what other options do we have? We can say very fast. That's not very fast. I would, oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay, so very fast is the same as super fast, but it uses five cores. Read the chat, I'm dying, dash threads. Where do you see that option? I don't see that option. I don't think there is a threads option. I think you're lying. Dash dash threads one. Okay, there is a threads option. <laughs> Oh, long help. Oh, yeah. I love when the help doesn't include any information. Okay, that's the, okay. That helps. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, doesn't force fast. Uh, don't force faster settings. That maximum gop size. Uh, what what are my speed options here? What can I do for zooming? I can print stats. I can wait till he finds out about full help. Why why am I even streaming this? Um Okay. Uh Hmm. Is there an option that's like dash dash actually encode at a reasonable rate? Like use cores? So let, let's see what happens. Let's see what happens when we do very fast threads one. Okay. So we're just going to leave it at very fast threads one. Does it use one thread? Yes. Yes. It uses one thread and we get 25 frames a second. Uh, okay, so if it uses 10, we should now get 250 frames a second, right? Right? Oh, we get 40 frames a second. Okay, so it's using five times the amount of cores, according to HTOP, 
and we're getting about 3x the perf. That's pretty good. That's that's some good scaling right there. Uh, we did tell it to use 10 threads, and it, it does use 5. Okay, let's see what happens when we tell it to use 20 threads. Oh, it uses 5 threads. I see. So the threads option doesn't mean anything. It's just a... It's just wishful. I'm sure it creates 20 threads, but I don't know if it actually does anything. Oh, slightly improved quality of SMP. Non-deterministic. Okay. At the cost of repeatability. Okay. Uh, let's see if this will make it scale. Um... No. No, it doesn't. Uh, okay, what, what other options do we have? Low, low latency but lower efficiency threading? S slice threads? Okay, let's try that. Every option that says perf we're going to use. Okay, now it uses fewer cores and gets... Now we're using four cores and we're getting roughly the same performance as one. So that's good. Uh, what if I turn the threads down to like two? Okay. Um, okay, what else can we do here? Hmm. Um... What does OpenCL do here? I mean, that theoretically could be faster, right? Okay, we're, we're... I built some kernels. OpenCL acceleration. Uh, doesn't really seem super accelerated, but let's just try it without any of the thread options. Let's just say OpenCL. And... Oh, uh, okay. There we go. So that did nothing. Okay, cool. Um, what other options do we want to play around with? <laughs> Any other brilliant Twitch chat ideas here? Um, I could set the output color space. Let's do that. Let's set the output... Output color space, so we're not doing a color space transformation. We'll just say this. I see. Is that not a color space? YUV444P? Uh, okay, so that's not... I see, is this... Can I use this as an input color space? Uh, yes. Okay. So you can use that as an input color space. Um, so why can't I output to this? Unrecognized. Uh, oh, I spelt that wrong. See, SP. I see. So that's, you can't do that. Um... What if I do no asm? Let's turn off the assembly stuff. No asm. Okay, it uses more core, but less perf. I see. So double the cores and half the perf. Okay. <laughs> you need a J? Uh, CSB. Nope. Nope, it's not that. <laughs> Any more brilliant ideas you have? <laughs> Chat keeps coming in with great ideas, and all of them are hitting very well. <laughs> I think, Chat, you're going to realize that there is no way that we can improve the performance of this. I think that is, uh, that's the main thing. 
We could try I-444, because it's in the other side. I-444? There we go. Now it doesn't say it's doing a color space conversion. Same performance as before, so that doesn't matter. So the color space conversion, as I kind of expected, is effectively free. Yeah, maybe we gain 10 FPS. whoop de doo um, do we just need to write our own encoder? How hard would that be to do? X264 spec. The best encoder. My ass. Uh, encoder, like ITU something. Writing your own would take at least 30 hours. I think it's hard. I don't think it's that hard. It can't be that hard, right? Um, what's this? Also, you will get sued. Yep. I love how it's illegal for me to write code on my computer. That's great. <laughs> Um. Oh my god, this is so stupid. <laughs> Fuck yes, yeah, software patents. Woo! <sighs> Don't we love the like media, the AV industry? Let, let me let me do this. Um uh butterfly meme maker. Here we go. And then uh text one. Uh okay, this is uh okay, this is a bitwise XOR and then and then we'll say is this patentable? Uh and then this will just be A V industry. Uh-huh. Industry. Patents. Patents. There we go. Uh, okay. All right. <laughs> I think you won't get sued as long as you don't try to sell it. Yeah. That's typically how it works. A plus meme. Yep. Oh, boy. Oh, this stuff is all a shit show, dude. Bitstream formats. Mm, okay. Between the now unit stream, I don't know what that is, but we'll just keep reading as if we know what it is. We'll just scroll. Composed of one or more sample arrays. The source and decoded frames. Luma. Yup. And then... Luma and two chroma, CB and CR, CG or CO without an auxiliary, or RGB. The kerning on this PDF is vomit inducing. It's great, dude. Uh, so here's 444. Okay, what it, uh, how does it look? Location of Luma, location of chroma. Oh, interesting. So it samples. The pixel below for the color, and it samples the pixel for intensity. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, I don't care about any of this. Um, what's the format? Inverse raster scan. Okay. Um... Can I just store uncompressed data in X264? Can I post a link? I have a picture. Oh, I'm not too curious about Luma and Chroma sampling, though. I don't really care because I'm not going to do them. Um... So, can I just see, like, what the encoding is? Don't tell me you do this. 
Please don't tell me this is how you do your scan. For anything. For literally anything. If this exists anywhere in code, it's wrong. Uh... Some matrix math, who cares? Oh, everything is used since JPEG. Cringe. Where does it define like the bit stream? I don't care about the sampling of the image. That's easy. I can just guess until I get something that works for that. Bitstream formats? Source decoded and output? No, I want encoded. Raw byte sequence payloads? Okay, that's maybe good. Um, decoding process, I don't care. Part, don't care. Okay, so let's see. I think this can output raw, if I'm not mistaken. Um, help. Output, how do I set the output format? Oh, will I just infer it if I say raw? Oh, raw input. Okay, it's not MPV, MKV. Uh, output dot raw. Okay. And apparently this is even slower. Interesting. That's intriguing to me. Uh, file out dot raw. Okay, so this is an a now sequence. Uh yeah, there's a there's a keyframe in there somewhere. Uh there's technically data in here. Okay, that's good. That's good to know. Uh so this is let's see what this looks like. Uh, okay, so you have a comment in here. What, so it's prefixed with a, a one? What's the signature? What kind of signature is this? Raw 1080p 60, 24-bit colors. Uh, it's not, it's not, it's not outputting that. You can tell by the fact that it's four megs. <laughs> um Hmm Hmm Uh the forbidden bit Is this is this now is this the container format? I really like the kerning in this file. It's great. I love it. Really nice. What proprietary font are they using? Where they expect you to be on Windows? What hard-coded proprietary font do they use in this, P uh, this PDF? Um, Numbytes and now unit? Like, what's this syntax? What? Like, this is garbage. Dude, like, you, you know that some fucking management types wrote this document. Is this seriously how they define it? Okay, let's just search for like now sequence. Let's try and find any other 
any other thing that describes it. Uh, XH264. Oh, uh, here we go. Here's Yumi-chan. This is what I- this is what I want. Uh... H264, blah, blah, blah. Network abstraction Oh, okay, it is that. And video coding layer are the two main con uh, concepts. An H264 file consists of a... Um... Consists of a number of NAL units, and each NAL U can be classified as VCL or non-VCL. Video data is processed by the codec and packed into NAL units. Okay. NAL U and packet transport protocol versus byte stream format. Two is to pack a NAL unit on different systems, so RTP. And I think that's what we need to broadcast, right? Uh, for packet transport systems like RTP, the transport system protocol frames frames the coded data into different pieces. Hence, the system can easily identify the boundaries of NAL units, and we don't need to add extra start code, which is a waste of resource. Okay, so basically, there's an internal container of, like, the raw bytes, but then there's these NAL units that probably is what we have in our file, where it puts some level of encoding, like, header on it. In some systems, there's no such protocol uh, to separate NAL units. For example, you want to store an H.264 file and decode it on another computer. The decoder has no idea how to search for the boundaries in the NAL unit, so a 3-byte or 4-byte start code is added to the beginning. Okay, so that's the one that we saw. We're starting off great that it can it can be a 3-byte. It also could be a 4-byte. They're called byte stream format. Hence, the decoder can now identify the boundaries easily. According to this, it's usually uh, used in this and this system, blah, blah, blah. I'll use the byte stream format as an example to introduce it. Here's an example of H264. You can see several start codes. There's a 1. Here's a one, which means that there are several now units in this image. Okay. Twitch wants RTMP. You can ignore all the RTP and RTMP things. OBS can handle that if you give it raw H.264. Okay, so if we generate this, we're fine. Okay, yeah, and this is literally the now stuff. There are chances that this... Ex So it, so this literally, you literally just grep the file for a one. And that's how you identify a NAL unit. They don't use like a fucking length or anything. Holy shit. Oh my God. So an emulation prevention so at, an emulation prevention bytes 03 is presented when one of these exists to make them become three. Th oh, I see. So basically, if any of these exist in the bitstream, then you just put a three in there and now it's unique. Got it. Got it. This ensures that no... <sighs> This ensures that no sequence of consecutively byte-aligned bytes in the NAL unit can, contains a start code prefix. Cool. Why don't you just never encode your magic number? Uh, okay. Cool. <laughs> cool. Um, so for 67, for hex 67, oh, first byte in a NAL U. Okay, so that was a NAL header, saying, like, a NAL is here. Oh, and this is saying, I think that there is a NAL, but it's three? So what do I search for?
when does it become that? Randomly? Because I would imagine this is the next one. This is the 300. Zero zero. There's the AVCC format where they precede each now with a length. Well, I mean, I still need to generate the now. Oh, God, this is ass. <laughs> um, this ensures that no sequence of blah, blah, blah. Okay. So the first byte is indicating the type of the data contained in it and some other information. I see. So we have a 67 here, which is what it's about to explain, which is no forbidden zero bit, an IDC of three, indicating whether it's a reference field frame or picture. On one hand, if it's a reference field frame or picture, it's not equal to zero. According to the recommendation, I see, a recommendation, mm -hmm, not a standard, just a recommendation, non-zero that specifies that the content in the now unit contains a sequence parameter set, a sequence parameter set extension, a subset sequence parameter set, and a picture parameter set, a slice of a reference picture, a slice of a data, or a pre... Okay, okay, so it can be any of those things. On the other hand, if it's a non-reference frame, then it's zero. I see. I, okay. That, why don't you just, I don't know, have a bit or a thing that indicates what the payload is? Oh, maybe, maybe it does. Maybe it does. Let's see. So we had, oh, nope, that's, there's now unit type. Sequence parameter set. So this is a sequence parameter set. Okay. So we know that whatever this is, is a sequence parameter set. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. Um... <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Why? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> okay while the next bits are not equal to this and they're not equal to this oh my god this is so bad oh my god this is terrible oh my god who does this this is a terrible design who wrote this? Patent lawyers? When trying to remember this, it was written in circa 1993? Yeah, you would think they'd make it even simpler. Such that you could decode it on your Pentium negative three. Holy shit. So these are bits. So this totals up to eight bits. Numbytes and RBSP? Is that this? What's six four? Oh, I don't think that's in code. I think these are just for fun. If the null unit type is one of these, then we have a bit, the top bit of this next thing. Uh, okay. And then you have another byte, so now that's unaligned by a bit? Or is it padded out? Oh, you just add thing. Okay, I see. Oh, so this will now expand to this. Dude, this is terrible. This is really bad. Oh, we're not doing that today. Um... Holy shit, this is bad. I like how these are just all constants. It's not like, oh, if profile IDC is like magic AVC data payload. No, it's just 138, 86. Maybe, maybe it's a 118. Could be a 110. <laughs> Jesus. 
Okay, so these are variable. This is ass. This is absolute ass. What would you do better? Uh, I don't know, use a fucking length? Implement it in non pseudocode for the layout of a structure? Define names for constants? Uh, not have a billion options for probably what does effectively the same thing? There's a couple things I would do differently. Is there a follow up in this blog? Please, Yumi Chan, save me. No, that's just a link to this blog. Shit. They first wrote the code, then made the spec. I don't even know if that's the case. What's the oh, there's a research, there's a paper on the now you layout. No, this is something else. That's different, okay? Um... All of the encoders produce now, uh, now packets delimited by that. So that's pretty much what everyone does. Oh, oh, there's a patent on the format? To be honest, I would patent this if I were fucking dumb enough to make this design. Like, I would be pretty proud of this. If this was what my brain produced, I'd be like, damn, that's good. Because it's obvious that there's no way that you actually have any idea how to design a file format. It's a minefield of patents. Yeah, all this shit is a minefield of patents. Here's the RTP payload format or something. Okay, there's an RFC. I like that. Okay. Maybe the RFC is written by sane people. Oh! They contain a single NEL unit octet which co-serves as a payload header. Oh, the F bit, the forbidden bit. Oh, look at that. They show you the layout of the bits. Oh, that's cool. Huh. Oh, and then they describe using words what it means. Huh. That's cool. God, hopefully this tells me everything I need in this document. Okay, RTP header. I don't think we need an RTP header. Um, now unit types. Now unit header, so we're talking about it again. NRI. Okay, let's see what these values can be. NRI. Semantics of zero and a non-zero value remain unchanged from the spec. In other words, value of zero indicates it's not used to reconstruct reference pictures for inner picture prediction. Such now units can be discarded without risking the integrity of the reference. So basically, they're like metadata packets. Um, that makes sense. Must set it according to this. Shall be equal to zero for all things, blah, 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 having this, okay. So I think we have like some metadata headers. Egos, thank you so much for the three months. Hell yeah. Bet the that file format that the file format was written by network engineers. I don't know who fucking wrote this, but it's terrible. Uh, it's pretty tilting, to be honest. So payload type now unit. So I'm guessing we'll have a couple zeros, like this one that's literally a hex string of like the the arguments used. 
That's probably a now payload. Uh, let's see. Um, that 20. Yeah. Okay. So here's a, oh, here we go. A now unit. So you have that bite, the now unit. Okay. What's in there? <laughs> Hmm. It's described this header a, a lot, which is nice. Oh, here's the fuck you packet header. Start bit indicates the start of a fragmented now unit. Oh, frag. Oh, so this allows fragments. That's where the bugs are. Um. Okay. Ugh, yawn. Um. Okay. Let's see if we can find. Okay, so there's another now packet. So they they occur like every one thousand lines or so. There's a da. There's a one oh one. There's a 4-1, there's a 4-1, there's an 0-1. Okay. Um. God damn it. Why isn't it just like, bytes go here, header goes here? Because, like, this consumes one bit. I found a library that parses now use without decoding. Yep. Um, now you, uh, H264. Maybe that'll help. Analysis. Oh, here we go. I, P, and B frames. I frame is the first frame of a GOP, a compression, uh, yep. After moderately compressed, it is a reference point for random access. That makes sense. P frame is front predictive. Isn't that basically a diff? Like, you don't you just emit iframes and then you diff them? Like, that not that just how it works? I'm pretty sure. Encoding structure, okay. So we got one of these. That points to one of these, which points to these, which is one of these. Okay. So a GOP is basically the size of a window after a keyframe, I'm guessing. Uh, okay. SPS sequence parameter set. There's an iframe. Why would an iframe have multiple nalus? P frame. So you can have multiple nalus. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Um. Nal is responsible for adapting the VCLs. Whistle string. <laughs> Uh, now you blah blah blah. Okay, so the now header that should be that one byte thing. I'm guessing. Yeah. Yep. That's the now header. It's the one byte, the fruit header, then an RBSP, then a now header, then an RBSP. The last F is forbidden. It must be zero. I might set it to one, just to be a badass. <laughs> Um, type in the now you unit. 
Standard uh, pointed out that when the data stream is stored in the medium, add a start code before each NALU. This or this. Used to indicate the NALU start and final position. Under such a mechanism, the start code is the start code is detected in the code stream, and the identifier is obtained as a NALU. Where the next code is and when the next code is detected, the current NALU ends. So yeah, you literally are fucking mem memming for a four byte sequence. Nice, clean, clean. Think of it as iframes as individual pictures, P is progressive, and B frames is bidirectionally progressive. Yeah. I can make, right, so here's my thought. If I want to make my own X264 encoder, I want to start by getting something working. So I imagine that it's probably possible to just only emit iframes, which means that I literally take a screenshot of my desktop, compress it, using the bare minimum compression, basically leave it raw or like add whatever header or like bit shit needs to be done, but not actually like analyze the frame to do good compression. Just like, here's a raw frame and then just have only iframes. Yeah. The mem mem things kind of make sense for efficient seeking in big files. I mean, what would make more sense to me would be an index. <laughs> That'd be hell on bitrate, but it would be inside the spec. Yeah, that's fine. The goal is to start with something so that we know that it's possible because I'm pretty sure that we'll be able to compress our video pretty easily. Like... Um... So really, there's just the fruit. And the fruit determines the type... And the R, the ref, importance of the NALU. Oh, zeros can be discarded. Okay, I think that makes sense. So, like, if you want to encode arbitrary shit, like random header stuff, strings, you know, your cryptocurrency stuff, you can put those in, in worthless things because they're worthless. The forbidden zero fruit. The best encoding always comes down to a dynamic GOP size, yeah. Well, I don't want to do that. My GOP size is going to be one. <laughs> then I won't get shitty encoding. That's actually, I have, uh, my camera can record to that format, uh, AVCI, where every single frame is individually compressed, but there's no delta compression, which to me is chef's kiss. Because then... You never get artifacting based on the, like, movement of an image. Movement no longer matters. <laughs> a man with a gob size of one, statistically small. Okay, so we can write a parser for this pretty easily. Uh, we look for a one. Although sometimes we have to look for a three. I don't really know how I know that I have to look for a three. Do I just look for any of them? Like, is that what you're supposed to do? You have to look for any of them? Um... You don't look for a 300? Okay. So, like, don't I want to know that this is the start of a NALU unit, though? That's not how I interpreted this. I interpreted it that you might have different little thingies. That's inside the NAL? Really? Because I feel like this didn't... disagreed. It's just escaped. Oh, okay. So they escape the data inside. They never escape the header. That makes sense to me because otherwise it's kind of a lossy thing. The three is in the now. Okay. That makes way more sense. 
So do we only ever look for a, a one? We look for a three or a four byte one, I guess. And when can it be a three or a four byte one? The start code must be, well, that's five. I think that's just a typo. I would like to find it in the spec. The spec crashed. I'm going to save this spec because it takes 50 minutes to download. See several start codes here. No, that is five. What? Well, is this also a typo? Or is that not five? No, that's four. Okay, okay, that's fine. Um, so a three or a four byte start code. Won't looking for a three byte one also find four byte ones? Yeah, like why would you have two options? Right, like why? If you're going to ensure that one is the indicator of a start and one is a superset of the other, then, then, then why? <laughs> like, let's see if I can find this in this document. Can I find a rendered version of this that doesn't use a proprietary font? Tables for run before. No, that's some other shit. Ah, here we go, here we go. Byte stream now units. So this is the byte stream. While the next bit's 24 is... Okay, so you have to check both. You have to check both, it seems. At least... <laughs> that's how they implement it. Leading zero bits. Uh, shall follow the decoding order. Is associated with the same accent, blah, blah, blah. The leading zero eight bit syntax element can only be present in the first byte stream now unit of a bit stream because as shown in the thing, any bytes equal to zero that follow a now unit and precede the four byte sequence which is interpreted to be a zero byte followed as a start code prefix one three bytes, will be considered to be a trailing zero eight bit syntax elements that are part of preceding byte stream. So I think while you haven't encountered a new now unit, Discard all zeros? If the next things are not equal to this, then you discard another zero? I hate this. I hate this so much. I hate this so much. This is cursed as fuck. Input to this process consists of an ordered stream of bytes consisting of a sequence of now of byte stream now unit syntax structures. At the beginning of the decoding process, the decoder initializes its current position in the byte stream to the beginning of the byte stream. It then extracts and discards each leading zero 8-bit syntax element, if present, moving the current position in the byte stream forward by one byte at a time until the current position in the byte stream is such that the next four bytes in the bit stream form the four byte sequence this. Wait, so it always starts with a four byte sequence? What's this? Oh, it's, oh, oh, you're linking to someone else. Um. Okay. 
So I would interpret this as it must always start with a four byte sequence. So you discard eight bit, you discard zeros until you find a four byte sequence. Then you perform this repeatedly and extract and decode each null unit structure, blah, blah, blah. When the next four bytes form the four byte thing, the next byte in the byte stream is extracted and discarded and the current position, the next three byte sequence, which is this, is ex wait, what? What? What the fuck does that mean? So this says it has to start with a four byte. And then you look for four bytes. But then you throw away a byte and then you read it as a three byte? What? What? So it's always a four byte then. Why wouldn't you just say it's always four bytes? You just read the data and throw it in the trash. Yeah, so you check that it matches the four byte signature and then you're like, you know what? I don't want a four byte signature. I'm gonna throw away one of the zeros and then I'm gonna reread it and make sure that after discarding one of the zeros that now it's only two zeros and a one. Uh-huh. That's very smart. What? What? Can someone... Tell me how this works in English. Has no idea how to search for boundaries of this. So three or four byte start is added at the beginning. The, the byte stream format. They can now identify the boundaries. If there are chances that this exists in the bit stream. What, like, I don't get it. It always has to be a four byte one. It's saying that the uh, next byte after the initial four? Nope, because it's a, that's the header byte. <laughs> that's not how it works, because it's a header byte. I'm pretty sure what this means is that when you identify three zeros followed by a one, then you know that the, the next byte is a zero, so you discard it, and then you read two zeros followed by a one. Brilliant. Like, wh why? What? <laughs> well, I can see why the spec is so complex, because they just do the same thing five times. Like, what the fuck is this spec? How is this a spec? Now you understand why there's a grand total of four. Okay, here we go. Here's a null unit. It has that header. These are bits. F probably means forbidden. Fixed, fixed bit pattern bit string. In which N bits. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm.
This is terrible. No. This says you can do either. Oh my god, this is so fucking dumb. Um... Hmm... Didn't Twitch say they're adding VP9? I don't know if they ever officially did. Da, da, da. Uh... Note that VP9 uh, is any better than uh, AVC. Yeah, yeah. So why you put H.264 in a container and don't have to deal with nows? I mean, what the fuck is the point of that? Like, why would you have it be dynamic like that? That makes no sense. Like, what? Uh... I'm getting ready for WoW Raid. So... That is the now prefix code. It can also be that. Depends on the encoder implementation. I don't understand that because the spec seems to clearly say it has to be four bytes. Right? Like, am I wrong? Am I crazy? Why is it not clear in the spec? Like, it's, it's not clear in the spec. Like, what the fuck is the point of a spec? How do you charge people royalties for a fucking spec that isn't coherent? That's what I want to know, because I want that job. <laughs> While the next bits are not equal to this, and they're not equal to this. Is this saying you look for three, or you look for four? And then if you find four, you just throw it away? This has a parser? I don't care about what someone implemented. It doesn't mean anything. <laughs> you can always assume you're outputting for it. Yeah, since we're encoding, that makes it a lot easier. But... Like, what is this? I shall follow the decoding order contained in this. I need to save this as a PDF. H264. And then we got to open that. Da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da
Is there a way to like force a different font? Well, <laughs> they wrote it in Word. <laughs> XD. I could grab the Word format. I'm not a ties user, though. Yeah, it's a login. Do you not have Noto fonts? I definitely have Noto fonts installed. Mm. Byte stream format. I mean, can you really get more clear than that? Byte stream format. Specifies the syntax for applications that deliver some or all of the null unit stream as an ordered sequence of bytes. For bit-oriented delivery, the bit order uh, specified to the MSB, proceed to the LSB. Byte stream consists of a sequence of this. The byte stream format consists of a sequence of byte stream null unit syntax <laughs> structures. For each byte stream null unit syntax, each byte stream null unit syntax structure contains one start code prefix followed by one null unit syntax structure. It may, and under some circumstances, it shall also contain additional zero byte syntax element. It may also contain one or more additional trailing zero eight bit syntax elements. When it is the first byte stream null unit in the bit stream, it may also contain one or more additional leading zero syntax bit elements. Okay. So this is look for a four byte header or a three byte header. If there is not one, discard a byte. Then at that point, you then check, is it a three byte header? This basically means if you found a four byte header, then discard another byte such that now you have a three byte header. Yep, and then you have your start code prefix, which is a three byte header. So basically, consume zeros until you have a four byte header. And if you have a four byte header, then discard another zero and then make sure that it's a three byte header. Smart. Smart. That's 100% what it's saying. Like, that's 100% what it's saying. Is literally discard zeros until you encounter a three byte. Why they have a four byte option at all, because if you have a four byte option, then you discard the single byte and then you have a three byte. Why the fuck they do that? I have no idea. When would that ever matter? Ever. Ever. When would that ever matter? It literally says discard it until you get a three byte header. Then why don't you just use a three byte header? <laughs> Is it a compatibility thing? I have no fucking idea. I pad all my videos with 15 zeros. <laughs> Oh, that's so tilting. Well, that's pretty... We now know how to read this syntax, right? This is a fixed 8-bit thing. This is a fixed 8-bit thing. This is a fixed 24-bit thing. So, basically, we open the file, and then we consume zeros until we find a 3-byte thing. And then we have a null unit, and then once we parse a full null unit which maybe we somehow know the size of, while there's more data in the byte stream, and this, and this, once again, we're looking for three bytes. So you just always look for three bytes. Idea for next update, have a five byte header, then discard two bytes if you get three. I am absolutely reading this right. Is a fixed value of three bytes. This is a start code prefix. So specifically, the start code prefix is literally three bytes. Jesus Christ. 
<laughs> well, at least it's a simple format. We should be able to parse all of this in like two seconds. We, it's just a grep for three byte sequences. <laughs> it's literally just three bytes. But optionally, you can have padding zeros. I don't know why you just don't say you're looking for a three byte thing and discard leading zeros because that has the exact same semantics. Like provably, mathematically, has the exact same semantics. But, you know. <laughs> Grep is sick. Thanks. <laughs> this fucking thing, man. This fucking thing, man. All right, all right, all right, all right. This popped. <laughs> Okay, bunch of shit. I think I have enough consumes for raid. Uh, I think he's just ignoring stream and raiding now. Well, now I'm not. I'm not very happy about this. Uh, I mean, I'm glad that we figured out how it works. And everything's byte aligned, so there's no alignment stuff. Uh... <laughs> my terminal when working on someone's C project seg fault. Oh my god. Alright, we have to do two raids quickly, okay, chat? We have to do two raids quickly, and then we're gonna parse this a bit, alright? All right, chat. Uh... See, I would have just blindly followed all this. Yeah, like, I only care about specs. I don't care about implementations because implementations are pretty much always wrong. Do it up. Yeah, let's see what we can, let's see how we can do tonight. Chat, you want to see something cool? You want to see a really cool add-on that I have for WoW? One second, let me... I will set my... I think someone can... You can, like, bang game now or something? Um... Does that... Does that... Does that do anything? I think there is a way to do it, but I don't know how to do it, because I'm dumb. Okay? Uh, uh, stream manager. Help, help, I'm being attacked by a murloc! <laughs> uh, dude, are we gonna make an H264 encoder that actually can handle 4K60? How do I do this? Edit. Uh. Okay. And then we'll say World of Warcraft. There we go. Done. Oh, okay. Oh, it works for Geek Pirate. Okay. Okay, Geek Pi Oh, cool! Geek Pirate it works for. Alright, chat, you want to see a cool WoW add-on? Uh... God damn it. They're already flying there. Shit. Um.
This is a cool WoW add-on. It's a really cool WoW add-on that I made. <laughs> it's a very cool WoW add-on. In-game add-on that I made. Um... <laughs> Nightbot and I had a fling in high school? Oh, okay. <laughs> it's absolutely an add-on. <laughs> God, dude, this is tilting. At least I can write something that emits this very quickly. <laughs> Why is this getting slow? What am I compiling right now? I'm compiling GCC. Why is my system like freezing up, dude? Is my hard drive about to fail? I'm not using all my CPU, but my system's pretty slow. Well, that's basically unresponsive. That's sick. Ironic GCC could compile other programs without crashing, but not himself. <laughs> oh. Dude, I don't get it. I don't understand why my whole computer's frozen. It feels almost like a hard drive failure. And I really don't want to have a hard drive failure right now. That would not be fun. <laughs> Frozen Matrix. Dude, I... Is it... I wonder if it's Matrix. I wonder if Matrix is consuming all my GPU and that's, like, crashing my system. <laughs> I, I blame Matrix, man. I can't even open a terminal. I can't control C. Let me hold control C. That'll work. Nope. Can I go to a virtual terminal? Oh, there we go. This is fine. Uh, I can't log in. I can't log in. Sick. <laughs> Literally can't fucking log in. All right. Sounds like you dipped into swap. I don't. I don't use swap. <laughs> None of my machines have swap. God fucking damn. Turning off swap reduced the wear of my SSD. Swap is just trash. There's no point to ever use swap. It's just garbage. It literally is useless. By the time you hit swap, your computer's too res uh, too unresponsive to do anything anyways. Like, what's the point of allowing a system to swap if it means that the system is already frozen? It's pointless. Stupid. Um, we're doing BWL. It does feel almost disk failure-y.
Imagine running out of RAM. I was not out of RAM. I was using 10 gigs of RAM. <laughs> gotta get that gotta upgrade that perf let's see if it boots that's the real question will it boot i should probably do a backup of this system like right away because it does feel like a hard drive failure. I've never had a Samsung NVMe hard drive failure, though. Um... So who fucking knows, dude? <sighs> Getting scammed. Is that first for everything? Yeah. I had some old hard drives fail. Back when I got my first hard drives, my hard drive arenas, um, I got a 50 gig SSD was my first SSD. That's still alive and kicking. I think I run it in a, uh, a router somewhere. And then I had a 120 gig SSD that I got like two years after the 50 gig one. And that's when every manufacturer was trying to pump out SSDs. We're like panicking to make SSDs because they wanted to like capture that market. Um, and it was shit, dude. It failed so hard. I don't think it's a hard drive failure. I think it's C, a C matrix, dude. C matrix uses like a lot of resources and I don't know why. Well, it's probably because this computer doesn't really have a GPU in it. Um, and since it doesn't have a GPU, it can get pretty spicy pretty fast. Any interest in hacking cars? Not really. There's really no difficulty there and no interesting problems. I had an 1800 8 terabyte SSD fail at work this week after only a few months. That sucks ass. That really sucks. Could run smart control. I don't think smart control does anything. Ever. <laughs> I don't even have it installed. Smart, smart mon tools. I don't know if it's in smart mon tools. I'm just installing it. Never going near them again, which SK. Huh. SK is usually pretty good. I'm surprised. How do I run smart control? All dev NVM EO N1. I'll have to read that in a second. Needs root? I ran it as root. Uh, overall health passed. Available spare, 100%. Percentage used, zero. Three terra read, eight terra written. Power on hours. Temperatures, time problems, none. No, there's nothing. I have 24 errors, I guess. I guess I have 24 errors. I don't know how to view the error log.
Um, it isn't smart mon tools. Yeah, I got it. Nailed it. Nailed it. Doing something isn't his job. It's supposed to relay smart data. Yeah, that's true. Smart CTL dash A. Uh, dev NDME ON1. I mean, yeah, that's what I had before. How do I see the errors? Can I get like the error log or do I not get that? Dash L. Dash L type error. Uh, it tells me the error count, but it doesn't give me the log. I apparently have 24 errors. I don't know if that's a problem or not. I should probably consume and stuff, you know. Do raid things and stuff in raid. I need my knife and soup. There it is. Do 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 boo. And before 100 parse, oh, we'll, we'll bang out some 100 parses. No problem. Shit's easy, dude. Anything under 1,000 hours is never going to lose sleep. Is nothing to lose sleep over. Yeah. As long as no sectors are reallocated, yeah, nothing's reallocated. And I do lose power um, sometimes. Like, I've let that machine go down when I've lost power before. Like, I've definitely not babied this drive. Air is not ours. Yeah, it's fair. It's on a UPS, but it doesn't auto shut down. And usually when I lose power, I just don't really care. I just don't really bother to fix it. Even a thousand hours is nothing, right? Uh, my uh, my new um, Nix shipped, which I'm really excited for. I'm so fucking excited. And then once I get those new Nix, then I can see what I can get for NFS root. Because it would be really cool if I could just switch everything to NFS root and get rid of hard drives in my computers. Boomer doesn't have motherboard 10 gig? How the fuck would I want to use motherboard 10 gig? Cringe as fuck, dude. Like a 10 gig nick for hard drives or the network? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna... I want to run all of my hard drives over, um... I want to run all my hard drives over the network. Ideally. Like, NFS root all my servers. But I don't think... I just don't think the software can do it. I know the hardware can, but I don't think the software can do it, which is really fucking cringe. Because it should be a pretty easy problem, but it's not because file systems in Linux are slow and, you know, all the standards. Said your new internet was 4 gig? Yeah. 4 gig full duplex. That, uh, my new internet will be... I just did splicing today, so I now have a patch panel. Um, but, uh, I'm guessing it'll probably be a week or so until activation, maybe two weeks, which kind of sucks, but whatever. At least I haven't had to pay for it yet, so that feels good. I don't know anything about WoW, but is it running natively on Linux? No, it's running on one. I wish it ran natively on Linux. I wish everything ran natively on Linux, but they don't, because, you know... Because that would be very difficult. Nice. Use NTFS. It's, fa it's fast when you don't have the Windows API slowing you down. Ah, yeah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. That's how that works. That's definitely how that works. 
Do you still work for a company directly? No, I work for myself. I'm an independent, hardworking boomer. And TFS is like NFS, but the T stands for terrible. I don't know. I've already been very disappointed with NFS or RDMA. But we'll see. Hopefully, hopefully these new Nicks will be better. Because I'm going from Nicks from 2014 to Nicks from 2020, I think. So I'm hoping that like the drivers will be better and their Intel Nicks, so they'll just be better because goddamn Melanox stuff is garbage. Sorry, Melanox, but yeah, your shit sucks, dude. Okay. Looks like we have pretty good damage today. That's good. Razor Gore about to drop. Might as well pop my rain. What's going on? 100 gig Nix? Yeah. Dual port, so 200 gig. I haven't run into any issues with my Melanox Nix. Yeah, like, I don't think there's any issues with them. The main problem is it's just absolute shit software. Like, the hardware and software interface is really bad compared to Intel stuff. And so I just don't think they have as good of drivers. And Melanox really hates when people use their old hardware because it's really cheap on eBay. And they often don't update their old drivers and Nicks. Whereas the Intel ones, I know they'll be maintained because I'm I'm getting the current gen fastest Nix that you can get, um, and I would imagine that Intel that's where they put their focus and their energy, right? That would only make sense to me. I don't know why you would focus and put your energy on old Nix. All right, there wasn't really enough damage to do any healing there. It feels bad. But whatever, let's switch to Brooch. Direct heals. Yeah, I, if we go Brooch, we're kind of banking on getting lucky. Let's see what happens. I don't know if we're speedrunning or not. No, we haven't even started the fight yet. <sighs> Cringe. You're really going to write a uh, code high performance structure where memory analyzer? Um, maybe. I mean, I don't really have a strong reason to other than game cheats, and game cheats isn't really worth the time investment. Um, I don't know. Twitch doesn't like these dark rooms? Interesting. Well, it's going to be dark. <laughs> 200 gigabit. What on earth are you going to use that for? Uh, Whatever I feel like. Ideally disk, but I know that Linux cannot handle that. So we might have to write our own disk OS. But if we write our own disk OS, then we're good, right? Is that how that works? Oh, fuck yeah. Nailed it. Nailed it. I fucking called it. I picked the right itemization for this. It's like a 1 in 10 chance that this happened. What a fucking miracle, dude. Unfortunately, I can't reach the tank. But that's okay. I don't need the tank. I'll just keep everyone else alive and myself. I can't believe I itemized that perfectly. God, I'm so fucking good! Fucking called it. And I got it early, too, which is wild. Tank dead, but that's okay. It's expected. Another tank dead? That's not great. Another tank dead? I'm dead now. Oh, I just barely lived.
Okay, that wasn't that good. Cringe. That actually wasn't that great. Yeah, I wasn't in range of the tank. Feels bad. After Maple Story, do you intend to make a video about any game cheats in the future? I don't know, maybe. I mean, Maple Story is where the fun cheats are, because you can't really cheat in many other games that are written with any semblance of, of realism. Uh, Weed Shop, I've been doing a lot of hacking on, though. Weed Shop's been a blast. Do you plan to run that 200 gig through a Switch? Uh, through a Switch, yeah. Um, dual while private server that could be interesting i've never really done wow cheats i don't know how much i would enjoy them because you can't you can't you can't do things client side so like where's the fun in that you know um, like the only hard pack in this entire instance and then it's all easy from here okay guess i need to stay out here to heal so i got 48 seconds on adrenaline when hacking use goals compiling your own version of the game yeah that's actually wild I was gonna do that on stream, but we didn't we didn't get to it last time. I don't know if I wanna do this encoder thing. We'll see. Like I've got so many other better projects, but because I think the Twitch stream with this 30 uh this cope setup is pretty good, but honestly, I think it would be really fun to at least generate one video, even if it's not encoded. I I, I like just kinda wanna see what that looks like, right? Like, I just don't really know how that formatting is done, and I don't know... I doubt I can just give it uncompressed RGB, but that would be fucking sweet if I could. Um, and just basically make an encapsulation layer and nothing else. There we go. Oh, fuck, it swapped the wrong trinket. Cringe! That's okay. We'll get some shields out here, I guess. Let's see if I can pop a fire prot. It's greedy as fuck, but... I need to keep a powered shield on myself if I want to do this. Why can't you do things for client side a while? Because they don't implement your character's damage on client side. Or where monsters are. Or where your player is. Because they they spent two seconds designing their network protocol instead of one second designing it. Which feels really bad. You know, like, all all games should have client side things for that. Because, like, otherwise you just get no perf, right? Like... Latency, like, pfft, shit, then your ping matters because you have to, like, get data from the server. Personally, you should do all that client side. It's way faster and better experience for the end user, you know? <laughs> Maybe because of Warden. Warden doesn't do shit. <laughs> Warden doesn't do fuck all. Dude, WoW hasn't done anything for their anti-cheat in a fucking decade. <laughs> It's all user land. They don't do any kernel stuff. Like, it's terrible. It's just bad. And they don't ban people either, so. I don't condone cheating, though. I have to say that, right? Cheating, bad. Cheating, real naughty. Bad. Bad people cheat. Okay? If you cheat, you're illegal. And that's bad. Client side prediction is a scam, right? Oh, these fuckers. They love taking their stacks of damage, don't they? God damn it, dude. <laughs> For
for someone not knowing that beforehand, how would someone go about finding a game uh, that does things on the server side? You can kind of feel just through ping, to be honest. Like, just based on ping, you can tell. Oh, beautiful. Look at that combat drop. Got my drink off on this side. Let's go. All the warriors are killing themselves. Classic warriors. Classic fucking warriors. Okay, here comes pulling the boss. Refresh my soups. If you cheat and ruin the fun for other people, you're a scumbag. I actually 100% agree with that. I try to not do that. Even for the games that I love cheating on, I really try to not be a, too big of a dick. Because that's naughty. Kind of mean. Kind of a dick move. I got a bunch of whelps on me. That's fucking great. So I can't cast anything. Once again, can't parse because I've got whelps on me. Fucking great, dude. Well, no one's taking any damage anyway, so it doesn't matter. I'm just going to pre-heal Goff, see if he takes damage. Nope. You're... Nope. No one's taking damage. All right. Well, then I itemized wrong for this fight. Feels bad. Leroy Jenkins. We're not in the Leroy instance. Where the fuck did Eat Me die? Kind of cringe. Way back here? Like, back with whelps? They must have DC'd or something. Yeah. I'm in combat. Son of a bitch. Warcraft movies rip? Yeah. Warcraft movies was bay, dude. It was so good. Come on. Come on. Drop combat. Drop combat. This game's great, dude. Jesus, took long enough. Holy shit. Remember CS videos? No, I never watched CS stuff. Counter-Strike never was too interesting to me. I like uh, Gun Game. Gun Game was fun, but like actual CS to me always was shit. Never liked it. Do you watch any WoW streamers? No. Nah. nah. WoW is a pretty boring game to watch, to be honest. <laughs> it's just like... It's a really fucking boring game to watch. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. But it's true. Oh my god, come on. So slow. Says the man streaming WoW? Yeah. And look, my viewership will drop while I stream WoW because this it's fucking boring as shit, dude. It's a terrible game. It's not fun for anyone. It's not fun for the players. It's not fun for the viewers. Not fun for Blizzard. Literally, no one has fun doing anything related to WoW. Oh my god, double poly. Let's go. Let's go. Getting fucked up. Got some whelps coming in here because someone ran back there, I guess. Sick. And the whelps are on me. That's great. Nice. 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 We're having a great run today, chat. I watched the World First Races. To be honest, I'll tune in for them. I do like to see, like, the final bosses. World first races are pretty interesting. Sounds like a League of Legends. I think, I think MOBAs are actually really fun to watch. I think they're boring as fuck to play. Uh, but I think they're really fun to watch. <laughs> I watch a lot of Dota streamers, but I don't play. Haven't played Dota in, like, three years because that game sucks ass, dude. Stuck in ELO hell. My teammates suck. It's not me. <laughs> <laughs> let's pop a nature prot let's go this is boss yeah it's boss fuck yeah let's go baby come on get him in position yeah let's go let's go let's go let's go let's go let's throw some renews on these bad boys let's try and dodge some fires bam 
Dodging fires. Woo! Let's fucking go. Let's fucking go, baby. Let's see how many lightning discharges we get today. Probably a fuck ton. Can't find these people to heal them. Feels like shit. And there's this first zap on the raid. Woohoo! Fuck yeah. Love getting zapped by the raid. Now I'm gonna discharge on the raid. Cause everyone sucks and I use my cooldowns. Woohoo! Now I got nine stacks of flame buffet. And I'm gonna die when I get the next stack of flame buffet. Jesus Christ. Discharge! Jesus. Well, everyone fucked that up, so that's great. Literally can't heal because everyone else is killing me. Nice. Triple A game. Uh, I gifted someone a skin two months ago and it tells me every time I logged in that they've opened it? What? For League? God, it feels fucking bad losing my fucking buffs to shit like that. Such a stupid mechanic, dude. If people get greedy, they just kill you. So annoying. And I popped my trinket, too. I was about to pop off. It would have been a good fight for me if that happened, but uh, nope. Nope. Had to die instead. I'm going to my first concert? Uh, Hailstorm and Pretty Reckless? Oh, fuck yeah. Those are some... Those are some good bands. Makes me wanna die. <laughs> Pretty Reckless is actually really good. I had a Hailstorm phase, but honestly, I still listen to Pretty Reckless, but I don't even know the last time I listened to Hailstorm. Don't get COVID. Are you just using wine? Yeah, it's awful. I mean, mainly it's the WoW engine that's awful. The WoW engine's so bad unless you have high CPU frequency. So I need to, I need to build a gaming computer, but to make a gaming computer, I need to make streaming software. <laughs> Let's see if people let them group up. Nope, just send the bat in there. There we go. That's that's nice. Oh, people running in for the Chad Sappers, though. I appreciate the Sappers. What OS do you use? Gen 2. It's technically Linux slash GNU plus Gen 2. <laughs> it's called GNU Unix. And people killing themselves, people killing themselves. Woo -doo -boo -doo -doo -boo -doo -boo -boo. People killing themselves. <laughs> ah. We upgrade to Gen 3? Gen 3 for what? Oh, oh, that was a terrible joke. Sick. <laughs> Today it's gun Linux though. Only in schools. <laughs> America! Fuck yeah! <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh. Any reason you like Gen 2? Because I build everything from source, so it's easy to patch things. 
I can easily make patches. I can build everything with symbols. Things usually just work a little bit better than in other distros. You can tune things a bit more to your, to your needs. It's just better for power users, in my opinion. Mecha, <laughs> fuck yeah. Do you compile the browser? Yeah, I compile everything. Every single thing on my machine is compiled. Except for, like, NVIDIA drivers. <laughs> and Widevine. Any opinion on Arch? Yeah, it's for people who aren't smart enough to use Gen 2. <laughs> nah, <laughs> Arch users are fine. Uh, they, they maintain the best wiki in the Linux community, and I really can't argue with that, to be honest. But it is funny that it is the meme that, like, Arch is hard to use when literally you just, like, just install packages, like, like any other distro. Like, really, Arch is no different than, other than, like, other than the fact that things are more bleeding edge, so maybe... Maybe once every six months you have to apply a patch. <laughs> How long does it take me to build Chrome? I don't know, 10, 15 minutes. The main problem with building Chrome is that you have to build 10 copies of Chrome. Because Qt has Chrome in it. Discord has Chrome in it. Not that I'm building Discord. Chrome has Chrome in it. Pretty much any software with a web view has Chrome in it. Uh, OBS has Chrome in it. Uh, what else on my computer has Chrome in it? Pretty much all my chat clients have Chrome in them. Uh, I think GTK has Chrome in it. <laughs> so I build a couple of Chromes. Fucking CF, yup. It's terrible, but that's that's what the people want. That's what the people want. We'd rather have 10 million people producing shit code instead of 500,000 people producing good code. That's what we've decided as society. What realms do you play in? This is uh, Jam Gabar. It's the only the only realm that isn't dead. Uh, <laughs> Time to just run Chromium OS. Yeah. It's so annoying, dude. Software's gone downhill so much. Feels bad, man. Electron and its consequences have been a disaster for the human race. Yup. Don't get me wrong. They've gotten more people into programming. Like I can't, I can't argue with that. Like that's cool. It's great that more people have been empowered to learn how to program and get control and be able to command their computers to do things. But God, it's terrible for basically everything else: performance, usability, scalability, the fucking Earth. Like literally, the fact that you need computers that are. 50 times more powerful than they were 20 years ago to do the exact same workloads. Stuff like that's really fun. <laughs> Oof, rip is fantastic. He got deleted. Uh, what do I want here? I want shadow protection pot. Oh, you got a B res. Fuck yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That's some speed. I'm not going to have my mana pot here, so I'm going to have to conserve mana a bit for the start of this fight, but that's okay. We'll just go in full. What's your list of other software and tech that are disasters? Literally all of it. Like, the, the list of software that is not disasters is way shorter of a list. It's, it's, a, it's a short list. I would say, like, um, hmm. What is good software? Mold, the new linker, pretty good. I like mold. Uh, Rust as a language, pretty good. I think the implementation of Rust could be better. I think the exact same language could be written with like 10 times the, the compile times and stuff, 10 times faster, but that doesn't matter too much. But I think Rust is really good. Um, 
I think OpenBSD is probably the, the highest quality code base in the world, at least open source. I think the core Windows kernel is really nice, like super core Windows kernel, excluding basically everything that's been added since 1994. Um, even though the memory manager is super slow and shit, but so is the memory manager on Linux, so like, you know. Uh, I think the Windows API is way better than the Linux APIs but I still think it's a heap of shit. Uh, Windows user land is unusable though, which is unfortunate. Otherwise I'd be running Windows. Like I like Windows more as a system than Linux, but unfortunately the user space for Windows is ass. I've thought about taking Entos kernel.exe and literally just building my own, uh, my own desktop manager for it. Okay, we got a couple of these stacks, that's fine. I don't care, fuck it. Bring it, bring it, bring on the damage. Stack high. I can honestly maybe take another stack, but I'm not going to It'd be a little risky. Slob, oh my God, dude. I still can't believe that. That was wild, dude. Like actually fucking wild. I don't understand, man. Like, I understand the goal is to make, like, a super simple allocator, but I'm pretty sure you can make a simple allocator that runs way faster than that. <laughs> like, I, I don't think... I don't think the simplicity of the allocator justifies that shit. What's going on here? Taking some damn. Taking some big damn. Yikes, a lot of deaths at the end there. People getting greedy, I think. Write a new shell. Yeah, that's what I've thought of. I think that would be really fun. I think that would just be a fun project in general. I think do writing my own init for Linux would also be nice, because God fucking damn it, Linux sucks. All the, like, the user land of Linux is so bad, dude. Not as bad, not as bad as Windows. At least it's predictably slow. The Windows user land is just unpredictably slow. I'd rather have things predictably always suck than sometimes be good and sometimes not be good, which then causes you to not be able to like reliably use features because you have to assume that they might be not working that hour. Genie is not good software. I agree with that. Now, don't get me wrong, that's not me saying that GNU hasn't provided massive value to the software communities, but their software is just shit quality. They've produced software where it's absolutely needed. GCC, glibc, lot of user land tools. Like, Linux would really not be where it is without GNU. However, God, that code quality is shit. <laughs> Personally, I think writing a new Antos user land would be fun to watch. Yeah, that'd be really fun. Maybe not legal. I'm not 100% sure how they would. I mean, law doesn't really. It's not really about law. It's more about do I have higher paid lawyers than they do? In which case, it doesn't really matter if it's legal or not. I don't know how anyone works on GCC. It has gotten a lot better recently. That's an improvement. Linux kernel, I think the Linux kernel is an absolute piece of shit. Hate it. The only reason the Linux kernel is popular is because it's free. That's it. <laughs> like, that's it. That's why Linux is the second most popular OS. It's because it's the first free OS. It's the free OS that, like, companies have decided to make their drivers kind of work on. Thoughts on DWM? Uh, I think the DWM code is pretty sloppy, but it's lightweight. <laughs> you know? And I'll take lightweight. Get on down. But no, I like DWM. It's pretty good. Get on down. Where's Bonison at, dude? 
Get on down. Get on down. I popped my cooldown at a shit time though. That was a mistake. Can't reach anyone right now. I should have waited until some of the blocks were gone. Whoopsie doodles. There's an enrage. Where's the trank? Yeah, yeah. Ba, 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 ba. I got a bronze, but I don't have a thing, so I'm gonna start freezing, so I'm fucked. That's great. I hate this boss. Ooh, Thor is dead as fuck. Now I'm stunned. Let me grab one of these dust quick. Got it. Oh my god, I need another fucking dust. These cubes suck. That's okay. I don't really care. Oh, this is terrible, dude. What a terrible fight for me. Ripperino. Thought it would be a good one, but man, dude. Couldn't catch a fucking break there. I'm gonna pick up some of these to go. I think Jonathan Levin is putting up books on Android internals now. Interesting. Android's another piece of shit. <laughs> Android's terrible, dude. <laughs> I, Android's actually terrible. Poison. Uh. Is Kubernetes on your list of non-disasters? <laughs> what? Woo! Well, yeah, it's Linux. Uh, even not the Linux aspects. Like, the Linux aspect of Android is literally the best part. It's the fucking IPC for everything. Uh, it's the Java. Like, Java is literally the worst language in the world for a fucking embedded OS. Like, grats, you're literally never going to have good performance. You're never going to have good power or battery life. You're just fucked permanently. Terrible, terrible design. Yeah, and then they used Java illegally, and then they got sued for it. So then they, like, hastily rewrote their own hacked up Java that's kind of shitty. And they kind of did that in a rush because they were literally getting actively sued. Java is cross-platform, yeah! Yeah, Java is very cross-platform. As long as a uh, two million line of code code base is ported to your platform, it's very cross-platform. That's very true. <laughs> as long as the entire runtime environment is ported to your operating system, yeah, it's perfectly portable. <laughs> What if we took Linux, then shoved the JVM so far down his throat and started shitting it out? Yeah, Android has really bad scaling properties and stuff, and I think Android's just going to fall further and further behind over time. Don't they JIT compile? They ahead of time compile. They've been doing that for literally 10 years. Right? That's like when you, when you clear your like user data on Android and you boot it up for the first time, and it like goes through like optimizing apps and gives you that progress bar. It's compiling the apps to native code. So it's converting those to oats and dex to oat is the name of their uh, ahead of time compiler that converts it to your native arc. Fuchsia will save uh, Android. Fuchsia's gonna get replaced. Fuchsia's gonna get killed, dude. Companies don't want to take a risk that big. They wanna they wanna milk what is paying them right now. They don't give a fuck about two years from now. Because your golden handcuffs don't last that long. So you run that shit into the ground and cash out as much as you can. I didn't put on my cloak, so I have to run back here. I can't wait for the day Java dies. Don't get me wrong, Java can be fine. But the, the problem with Java, and I've brought this up before, like, Java's really not too bad if you, like, are just writing Java. What is bad is that... um. 
like java oh mine's on now um so um basically it's like the the nature of java that's bad it's the way that java pushes people to develop that leads to shitty practices so it's it's less about the language itself don't get me wrong it's never going to outperform you know a native language like c c plus plus or rust um but it's a fine language right the problem is it leads to a lot of boilerplate and just a lot of bad dev practices that lead to shitty code and that's that's kind of the main issue with java and a lot of the people who teach java teach it as like a beginner language and it's just that's just not true. Any recommendations on Android internals? I have no fucking idea. What about Scala? I mean, it's it's kind of like a kind of like an academic language. Like it can be good, right? But a lot of a lot of the academic languages focus more on paradigms than um than like what I would say is like good output, right? They're, they're focused on like making things easy to develop, but they're like, the, most of those academic languages are designed that, to allow you to effectively, like quickly implement semi-complex data structures without much regard of the actual performance of the implementation. Like, don't get me wrong, I think a lot of them have great features. They're cool, but they're usually just not, not great. I'll lick your old toe. Why are you so jacked? I'm not. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm just not. Waiting for the day C and Rust join forces and form crust. What 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 are the features that it'll take from both of those languages? I'm guessing this is a vote for MC. I'm voting yes. Unscala hacking is a category theory problem. All the rest is forbidden. Yeah. Like, I, I think those languages are really cool and allow you to express things that traditionally are very hard to express. But if you're willing to put in the effort to express those things in a different language, it's usually never the play. Pretty much like Haskell. Yep. Yep. I would put Haskell in that same bucket. Monads, bro. Monads. Dun, dun, dun. I wonder if you know. <laughs> you know. I only had one death in here. That's not terrible. I shouldn't have drank my alcohol. That was a mistake, because now I have to be dizzy the whole time I run. Best OS for gaming? Pff, Windows. <laughs> it's, just, it's just Windows. Hands down, Windows. There's just not even a choice there. And I wonder if you know... Mm -hmm. <laughs> Monads, bro. Monads. BSD, it powers the PS4 on the Switch. Uh, yes. The high performance BSD and Switch. Mm hmm. Well, we want to kill these? Okay, fuck it. I don't give a shit. <laughs> Surfing? Who's surfing? Not like this. I used to run FreeBSD back in high school. 
That was my preferred OS. I still prefer it to this day. I'd pretty much all... <laughs> I like how we pull this because we hope we like maybe get some more like some more loot off trash and we just like end up having more deaths on this than anything else in the raid. Sick. <laughs> any good book recommendations for entry level coding? Honestly, I don't really have any. Um, I read KNRC. That was my entry level programming book and I would not say that is a good entry level programming book. Nor would I say it's any more an entry level programming book. Nor would I say it's really a good book in general. But it's great. It's uh, nostalgic. The Rust book. Definitely not a low-level language. I would say, like, try and find, like, a Python book. I, I think there's honestly probably better online resources for learning, like, interactive, like, courses where basically you get part instructional stuff and then, like, prompts for, like, writing code and you write out examples. There's a couple websites. I think, like, Code Academy is one of them. I think my brother did that to some non-zero level of success. Are you more a programmer or a hacker? Honestly, I'm kind of a, a pretty significant expert in both. Like, I, I, would, I would say it would be selling myself short to say I'm more of an expert in either of them. I would say... Uh... Ah, uh, that's actually really tough. Like, if I wanted to say, like, what my percentile was, as egotistical as that shit is, it's really hard to say if it's programming or hacking. I would argue that I'm probably a higher percentile for hacking, but my percentile is probably way more impressive for coding because there's only, like, 500 people in the world who do the hacking that I do, yet there's, you know... 10 million plus programmers, probably 50 million programmers in the world. I don't know. I feel like I could be competitive with basically any programmer at this point. Like, obviously not for a specific niche. Like, you're not going to put me in a room for someone who's been working on a specific thing and then I would be able to outperform. There's no fucking way. But, like, I'm pretty sure if I got invited to join a team working on, like, a new compiler, I'm pretty sure I could carry that compiler to be the best compiler in the world. Are you an opinionated hacker? I mean, I'm, a, I'm opinionated on stream because it's funny and it's entertaining. But, like, uh, uh, yeah, I'd say I'm pretty opinionated. I'm, like, pretty laid back. I respect a lot of, like, engineers. I hate management, though. <laughs> like I, I I have a lot of respect for uh really everyone's like what people do almost at every level. As much as I may be critical of what people work on, often I'm critical of what people work on because they have really bad incentives, like in academia where they're incentivized to just make papers instead of do anything relevant. Or they're incentivized to do things that look complex, even if they have no value to the actual community. Um, but yeah. I don't know. I, I would say I'm relatively opinionated. I feel like I'm a pretty nice person, though. A as much as I meme and shit on people and shit on things like the Linux kernel... I understand their impact. I understand, you know, where they're good, where they're bad. Did he collab on something before? No, I pretty much only do my own work. What the fuck are people doing? Where are people going? Where are we going? Oh, on CTFs of Geohots. I did a, a, a CTF competition with him back, shit, 10 years ago? Eight years ago? Nine years ago? It was like a heads up, like, uh, what's like the high school poning thing? Yeah, that didn't go super hot. I mean, he's a god at shit like that. Oh, we're getting the buff. Ah, uh, makes sense. Bonfire buff. Hell yeah, dude.
Geef buff. Oh, are we summoning someone who has the ma Pico CTF? Yeah, I think it was a Pico CTF challenge. Oh, well, what design patterns have been more important in your life? What do you mean? That's pretty abstract. I don't know how well I can qualify that. I don't really get the whole hackers that aren't programmers thing. How does that even work? Um... It works because hacking things is that easy. <laughs> it's, it's, it's really just... Uh, hacking's just really not hard right now. Like... You can, you can be a bug bounty millionaire and really not understand too much about how to hack. Obviously, you have to know how to game the game. But it, it's much less about hacking. I think you'll find that a lot of the people who claim that programming isn't important for hacking are either A, people trying to help people get in the door of hacking, and that's totally fine. Yeah, you don't need to know how to program to get into hacking, but if you know how to program, it's only a benefit. Like, it'll help you automate things. The, the people who say shit like that are the same people that I watch on streams, and they spend like 10 hours writing a fucking regex because they don't know how to like write a basic script. So... It's the same people that will, like, run their automated bug-finding tools, and if they don't work out of the box perfectly, then they have to move to a different tool or give up because they have no other option. They can't modify them, they can't improve them, they can't fix them, they can't write their own. Um, once again, if you want to be successful in hacking, you absolutely don't need to know how to program. But if you want to be comfortable in hacking, and I would say probably have a higher likelihood of building a career out of it, like where you basically consistently can perform at a high level, you pretty much need to program. A lot of the people who say you don't need to know how to program are people who are doing bug bounty stuff and they do it for a couple years and they make a couple hundred K and they brag about how fucking awesome they are and how brilliant they are. And then they burn out and they can't really do anything because they have no way of having an impact beyond manually, you know, pinging websites. But don't get me wrong, you absolutely don't need to know how to program to hack and to even be an effective hacker and to be a successful and rich hacker. You don't need to know how to do it. But yeah, like, you're just not gonna be very efficient at it, which is going to hurt the amount of money that you could make. Uh, basically, any problem I've ever had, I've never really had a problem automating or writing a tool that semi-automates it such that it presents better data to me such that I can make quicker decisions. Um, I mean, I'm at the point where companies will literally just pay for me to write tooling for them or will pay for my tooling. Like, and I would say that is a much safer route than relying on the fact that software is absolute dog shit and you can spend a couple hours scrolling through some like burp logs and actually get money from that. Uh, obviously that's gonna work for a while because software really sucks, but I would hope that in the next like 10 years, you're gonna have to probably know how to program to be an effective hacker because there's just, there's either gonna be too much surface or you're gonna have to go too wide or or it's just going to become so profitable to like find and sell exploits that no one's going to publish their tools for skiddies to use. How do you describe the difference between CTF type hacking and the hacking that you do? Um, pretty much all of my targets require six plus months of investment and, ha and CTFs require like four to 12 hours in investment per, per target. And that means that a lot of things don't fly for what I do that fly in CTFs. That also means that I'm not good at CTFs. Like, my tooling is designed such that if it takes me a week or two to port my tooling or get it set up and whatever, that's totally fine. CTF tooling is the opposite. It's about doing as much as you possibly can with a tool, like, out of the box. So the top CTF teams basically have massive corpuses and lists of ROP chains and pre-made exploits for like every Ubuntu libc version. They have a bunch of like code sitting around that they can just like slap on things and skip steps, right? CTFs are basically about taking shortcuts. It's about cutting corners and 
doing things incredibly quickly where your competition might have to like, oh, they got to manually go find and create an exploit or a ROP chain or a, or a payload with a certain encoding. Um, whereas for what I do, like, no, like, it's, it's all fine to do long-term and invested stuff. And CTF tools, it's pretty common to like, kind of make fun of CTF tool, not make fun of them, but basically call them, you know, oh, it's a tool that works on a CTF problem, right? Most CTFs, most CTF challenges are usually Linux, Ubuntu with a default libc, which means that you're able to just fingerprint them and apply symbols automatically and use pre-made chains and a bunch of stuff that you can kind of do outside of the CTF. Um... And for, like, real targets, that's just irrelevant. It just doesn't matter. Uh, and a lot of tools, a lot of, like, hard problems in programming or in hacking um, or just, like, program analysis in general kind of require that you um, usually require, like, n cubed properties, right? There's a lot of, like, p, p is not equal to, or p equals np hard, np hard problems. Um, that are basically not solvable, but for CTF style problems where you maybe have a thousand basic blocks, you know, the equivalent of maybe 500 lines of code, probably 200 lines of code for a lot of CTF challenges. It turns out that you can use n cubed algorithms to like fully solve things. You can use symbolic execution. You can use things to like solve equations and stuff that you can't, you can't do that for, for real programs, right? Like, n cubed is fine when n is 1,000, but n cubed is not fine when n is 10 million. And that's why there's, like, a lot of tools for hacking that you'll try to use. Like, you'll see, like, people use them on CTFs, or they use them for random challenges here or there. And then you go to use them, and it's like, well, this is unusable because it takes 50 hours to load or do anything. Um, yeah. What do you think about attack defense format uh, CTFs? I, I don't know. Like, I think they're, I think it's just a different type of CTF. I personally prefer like the challenge ones more. Uh, I think attack defense is just goofy because like in no real situation can you real time defend against targets. So it's just like, it's just more attack than defense. It's like, it's not attack defend, it's attack obfuscate, right? <laughs> it's really how that works. And honestly, I'm not a huge fan. Holy shit. We, oh, wow, we're going to clutch this. Okay. I need to pop a shadow prod. I can't. I need my potion cooldown. Shit. Just use that potion. That's okay. We probably won't pull for a minute. This fight's pretty short. Um, I already have 100 parts on this fight that I don't think anyone is even close to touching. So I'm just going to focus on dispels because if I don't dispel, then our whole raid's going to wipe because no one else dispels except for me. Uh, so let's see what we got here. BWL. Ooh, I improved on Fire Maw. Nice. Actually, I did a big improvement on Fire Maw, which is crazy because that fight did not go well for me. So that's, a, that's good. Improve that parse. Molten Core. Well, we haven't done a boss yet. Yeah, I'm still number one world on this boss, and I'm literally never going to improve my parse, so I'm just going to focus on dispels. <laughs> I'm going to do nothing but dispel. Um, I do think CTFs are a great way to get people into hacking and get interested. To be honest, a lot of the top hackers do CTFs, like consistently on the side of their career, they enjoy the social aspect. They enjoy playing with their friend group. They enjoy, you know, whatever their college team was or their first job team was. Um, and to be honest, almost anyone who walks in the door at a big tech company 
and says like i did a ctf once in my life is probably more qualified than many people who get jobs in big tech for security um at least for binary security i can't speak for web security and like firewall that sort of shit so shit is junk and hot girls Oh shit does junk and hot girls How did mini fridge die? Shit, Morn's gonna die. Oh. Junk and hot guns. Web app security is so boring? I don't think it is. I think it often is boring, but I think it can be made interesting. I think it's often like more of like a basic level of hacking, but I think there's no reason you can't make it advanced by, you know, scaling wider, chasing more aggressive monetary goals, trying to hit harder targets. Like, I think there's so many ways that you can artificially make things more difficult, right? Like, I would say binary security in big tech is boring as fuck because you just run AFL and then suck your manager's dick and tell him that you fixed a billion bugs that aren't bugs, right? Like, I don't know. I, I think all aspects of security can be really boring or really interesting. It really depends on the environment and the goals and the projects. I just don't know anything else about JavaScript. I mean, who knows anything about JavaScript, to be honest? Shots fired. You can tell. I, I don't like management too much, do I? <laughs> I've been enjoying do my, doing my own company quite a bit. Okay, I'm going to pop a fire prod here. I'm not going to need the mana. Don't let Kalinga die, thank fuck. Did you do professional software engineering? Technically my first job was a software engineering job, but I wouldn't consider that professional software engineering. <laughs> so like, yes, but no. There's junk and hot girls. Your word, bam. I think I'm set for this boss. Uh, this is a boss I really need a good parse on. Let's see. I'm going to try renews here, but it's probably not going to pan out well. We need a fire to go out on uh, melee. Okay, there is a fire on melee. Fuck yeah. And here we switch trinket. Bam. And now we bang out some big ass heals. Here we go. Big ass heals. Here's a crit heal. Okay, we didn't crit. We got fucked. I pulled aggro on a core hound, so I get to self heal, which is great because I can pop one of my cooldowns here in a second. Bam. Get a free heal out of that, which doesn't use the GCD. And I think we're in a pretty good shape here for a good, a good parse. Come on, frenzy. Okay, big heal on a Kalinga now. Ooh, and I'm oom. Okay, that's fine. Let's bam out these heals. Yeah, I played that wrong at the end. I went oom. I shouldn't have. That was a mistake. I kind of expected the fight was going to be over by then, but it, it wasn't. I mean, it was still a good one. Oh my god, I'm dropping so hard. Fuck! It was so good until it wasn't. Oh, that's still a big improvement. God, that was going so well, dude. If I, if I cast a greater heal instead of those two flash heals, that probably would have been way better. Let's see what we got on that. I mean, it's still a PB. Fuck. 
Oh, tragic. Oh, and I used the fucking pot, so I didn't have my mana pot. Fuck. What bosses will you need? Uh, uh, I mean, I I'm never going to get any raids in here. <laughs> oh, fuck. I'm going to pull these. I, I was slacking off. Oh, he put his bat on it. Oh, my God. Dude, we got this new hunter. He's been doing pulling, and he's a fucking god. Actually a fucking god. Wow. Because if they spawned, they would have gone on the bat, and I would have been able to run by and be fine. That's ridiculous. What a great fucking player. My thing. We're playing really well tonight, though. I'm pretty proud of us. I've been playing okay. Actually, yeah, I've been doing fine. Come on. We don't need that serger. Okay. DC, so I didn't hear if you need to innervate on any bosses. Uh, I just don't really get innervate on any bosses. I think Gar coming up here is probably the only boss where really an innervate's big. Um, the biggest fights I need to improve on are... My Gar's pretty good. Uh, Baron Geddon and Golemag are my worst fights. Golemag's another one where an innervate's huge on. Um, uh, let's see if I can pre-schedule an innervate maybe. What do I know? That Magmadar, I think, would have been 100 if I fucking cast correctly or I didn't pre-pop that. I mean, I got 2,000 healing out of my potion, which is big, but no, I didn't because it's still on me. So that was a complete waste. Fuck me, dude. I didn't have Arcane Intellect either because the mages don't give it out for some reason. Window manager, oh, I can add that command. Command add window manager, I use uh, DWON Gensu. That's not the syntax. Com oh, commands with an S, I think. Oh my god. Uh, uh, uh. Everything I make everything I am. People hype. Here we go again. This is rage mob, meaning we're about to go in. Not even making your own Twitch bot. I've thought about it, but dude, I've written so many IRC bots, I just don't even care at this point. <laughs> We're gonna go for a renew strat here. It's greedy. Um, but I think it's better here. Oh no, it's not good because of the debuff. Fuck me. That was a mistake. Okay, well, I've already scuffed this fight really bad. Yeah, I have to I yeah, we're just not getting enough dispels out on people. I'm in this rain of fire. That's okay. I still have my fire prod on. I think I can tank this whole thing. And just ignore it. Here we go again. Everything I'm not... Please don't die. I hate when my targets die. Okay, that's the fight over. Damn, dude. What did Zelda have? Yeah. I went too heavy on her news. I also got... Pretty blasted on fire. That was pretty unlucky. <laughs> what server is this? This is Season of Mastery. It's uh, Jam Gabar.
What is my best on Gehenna? I have an 890 on Gehenna. Okay, I wasn't going to improve on this boss anyways. <laughs> I already have a ridiculous parse on this. There's no way I was going to improve. So it doesn't really matter. The main ones I'm looking for... I, I'm top 10 on Gar. I bet my Magma Dar is probably top 2 now. Let's see. Feels bad, man. Uh, Healing on... Magmadar. What did I get? I did a 738. Okay, it's not that good. It's like number three world. I think it would have been number one if I didn't fuck up my rotation, but you just get so punished. I made a miscalculation. We were moving faster than I expected. What's your favorite exploit? Uh, probably the one that I wrote on Android where a driver took my PID and cast it into a pointer and used it as a task struct. That is probably my favorite one because I had to allocate 32,000 processes until my process was a, my PID was a high enough number to be a valid pointer and then MMAP it in and then exploit it. That was fucking beautiful. <laughs> I think that's the most hilarious bug I've ever seen because literally that code would have never worked. Like, I, I made that code work because max pit is 32k, but also the lowest address you can map is 32k. So even though you can't access right at the start of the structure, luckily the first field, the only fields it accessed in the task struct until I got execution, uh, were like at offset like 10 hex. So basically, if I had like one of the top like 15 allocated, um, top 15 allocated PIDs on the system by, like, fork bombing, then I could have a valid pointer and exploit it. That was a fucking masterpiece. It wasn't actually hard. It, it probably took four hours to find an exploit. <laughs> but it was hilarious. That That's probably up there. <laughs> that actually had me laugh. I had, like, coworkers looking over my shoulder, and they're like, Ah, uh, they must be doing something weird with, like, a macro or something. I'm like, I don't know, dude. I think this code just fundamentally is, is wrong. Always. Unconditionally wrong code. And it was. <laughs> that was fun. I don't know. I've done a lot of fun bugs. I've done some really, really impactful bugs that I, I, I won't discuss. But... I have I have bugs that I consider way more impressive than I mean that's not an impressive bug that like to be honest I feel like a lot of people would have missed that bug when auditing because who the fuck like I feel like people would have second guessed themselves and just assume that the code is correct or doing something different than what they what they read it to do um god we're going fast tonight let's fucking go baby Max lol. What's Max lol from? Yeah, in cinema, yeah. Bob! I saved Bob. I wish I pre-popped something for this, but whatever. We're just going to get what we get. So we'll start heading into position. <laughs> I don't know. I've had some banging exploits like that before. Let's see what we can do. This is a big fight for me. I could improve. I'm top 10 world on this, but I don't know. I'm not feeling it right now. We're not taking enough damage for me to really get a good parse on this right now. And we might be too fast. 
Okay, I used all my cooldowns correctly there. That was really good cooldown utilization, so I'm happy about that. And I could go to Renews here, but if we're slow on this fight, then I go Oom. I think I'm going to take the reliable guaranteed heals while I can. Um, especially since I'm landing these. So, like, I don't understand why these heals are uncontested. Um, oh, I got Innervate. Okay, then we're going to... We're absolutely going to Renews then. And then people stop taking damage, but that's okay, because I needed to burn that mana. Can you think about me now, man? Cause I'm coming home again, been home again. I also have my big cooldown here. So I have to, I have to preserve mana. So I get more mana in 50 seconds. So I need to make sure I don't overheal here. I have to play this very well. And we're taking a shit ton of damage. So this is actually really good. So I have to bang up big heals to take advantage of it. So I'm going to go Oom here. I need to take damage myself so I can use my uh, self heal. Oh, come on, baby. Let's do this. All right, we have to go efficient. 30 seconds until we get more mana. There we go. Now I can use my self heal. Now we can land some big heals. I got one tick of mana on my, on my five second. Okay. I healed myself. That was a mistake because I overhealed. Oh, uh, nine seconds until more mana. So we can probably go a little heavy here. Here's a big heal. He's going to be out of range. Shit. And I can't predict that. Okay, here we go. Let's blast. I think we're good. I think we're really good. Let's go. Let's go. All my consumes are used. We have to not overheal. This is going to overheal. No, it's not. Okay, now we have to go to weaker heals. Because we started slowing down on this fight. Which feels really fucking bad. Come on, execute range. Let's go. I gotta go to efficient heals now. I misplayed that. I thought we were gonna be faster. Now it's cringe. Now my healing per second is gonna be collapsing. And I'm out of all my things that I can do. Okay, now I can pump out. This might be a mistake. Uh, I'm actually going to... Bam. Now I can blast out two of these heals. Oh, I let Frugo die. It feels fucking bad. But I am nursing this mana. Bam! Come on, let's go! Big heal! Crit! Fuck! How did that not crit? And then this heal in. Oh, I got knocked, so I didn't get it off. 629. Still improvement, but not great. I mean, I don't know. I could have played that better. I thought the fight was going to be over 30 seconds sooner. Rip. Does it mean out of mana? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. I don't know. The early renews were a mistake because I didn't get anything off of them. They could have been big if I... Like, there's a chance they could have been really good. Um, What else? I don't know. I think those... I could have played that a lot better. There's so much damage going out. That could have easily been number one world, and I really just didn't play it right. Did you do bug bounties before? No, I've never done a bug bounty. I don't believe in bug bounties. What do I need for number one world gar? 655. And I just got a 6... I got a 629 point five so that was number four world so i went from 10 to four but you could see i was like over 700 650 would have gotten me number one world and i i think i easily could add 650 i i blew it why do you not believe in bug bounties because i don't believe they pay anything I don't think a trillion dollar company should pay out $100,000 for a bug that would completely ruin their company and make them lose billions of dollars in stock. I think that's fucked up and exploitative. Uh, I refuse to support companies who don't want to pay out to secure their products. So I'd just rather sell it to someone who will use it. 
sorry, companies. Sorry that you want to gouge people, but uh, get fucked. Have you already WoW before? Like, technically, yes, but I would say no. Like, the level of RE I've done, I'd, I'd say, is not, doesn't really count. Um, how do you get from zero emulators VMM written to one? To be honest, it was kind of just intuitive, like not trying to humble brag, but like I just had written so much assembly and operating systems by that point that I kind of just knew what, um, I kind of just like knew how they would work. I don't know. Like, I don't know why it's intuitive to me, but I think a lot of it is just, I've worked with a lot of like super low level code, but yeah, like my IL, the only thing I've referenced on my IL is I referenced a paper for dominator stuff. Like a, it was like a fast dominator paper for calculating dominators, but like emulators to me just, yeah, you, you load the, you load the memory into memory and then you interpret what the bytes are and you use some sort of a switch statement or a lookup table or something to turn them into what the opcodes are, and then you implement the behaviors of the opcode. Oh my god. Tragic. <laughs> what have you done in OS dev at that point? A lot. <laughs> A lot. Um... I don't know. I'd probably written like four or five different OSs by the time that I did my first hypervisor. I remember the very first time I looked at the hypervisor documentation, I, I did not understand it. I explicitly remember I printed it off. I printed off that section from the Intel manual on a plane because I wanted to learn how hypervisors worked. And yeah, I didn't get anything out of it. I, I literally, I literally like could not interpret it. It's really weird to describe, but, like, I genuinely, it didn't matter how many times I read it or looked at it, I just maybe wasn't ready for it. Um, but then I did that again, probably four years after that, and it literally just made sense. The first read-through is like, oh, all this stuff makes sense, which it is weird. That was one of the most surreal, like, learning experiences of my life. I definitely missed that. Oh my god, we're pulling. Fuck. I'm um, oom. Um, it's okay. Uh, is this fight a fight I need to improve on? Baron. Yeah, I'm 45 world on here. This is my worst uh, boss in the entire raid. So we're going to keep drinking through here as much as we can. And I, I don't really know what the trick is going to be here. I mean, you can see no one's taking damage. Uh, his brother... Okay, now we can start panging out these heals. That's gonna... We landed that. We landed that. Here goes fire. This is where we start to be able to get some heals off. Okay, beautiful. This is what I wanted. Bomb hit a lot of people, so I can bang out big heals here. Big ass heals. Big ass heals. Big ass heals. And I got innervate. Big ass heals. Big ass heals. Big ass heals. Mini fridge, where the fuck are you? I cannot find mini fridge. Feels bad, because he died. Okay, now no one's taking damage again, but yeah, someone bombed the raid, so we gotta stack up better. But yeah, now there's no one taking damage. Feels really fucking bad, because I did nail that execution, but there just wasn't anything to do. So we're gonna shield up these dudes. Like, Maidai, here we go. One, there, bam. Okay, people are just taking a shit ton of damage somehow this time. I've never seen this before. I have to dispel myself. Pop this, pop this. And that movement killed me. Because I wasn't able to heal during that phase. Okay, let's see. Armageddon. Big heal. Big heal. Duh! I don't think that heal went through. Fuck! 497. Well, my best was a... Let's see what that actually was. I mean, that was an improvement. Uh, I had a 379 before. Okay, so now I have a 492.6, 
And where's that put me on that? So I went from 45 on that boss. That was my worst boss. 45 to... How the fuck do people have like... Oh, I'm looking at the wrong... I'm not looking at Season Mastery. Uh, okay. So maybe I'm inaccurate on some of these logs then. Um, to 492, which is 8th. God, how is that 8th? How the fuck do people take more damage than that? I think Zeldy told the druids to give me innervates. Because I, I, I never get innervates like this. Or someone's watching my stream. It's very strange. I don't have audio on in-game. I should be in Discord, but I, I can talk better if I'm not in Discord. <laughs> I'm simping you tonight? Okay, I was wondering what the fuck was going on. <laughs> Jesus, oh my god, dude. <laughs> Yeah, I was definitely noticed. <laughs> okay, that was good. I think the only thing I misplayed there is I... D Whoa, we got healing power. Holy shit. We haven't had that drop yet. Uh, where's mini fridge? Way back here? Where the fuck is mini fridge? Oh, back there. Jesus. <laughs> I don't know. I shouldn't have moved. I was scared that I would die if I didn't move. Um, right? That's, that's where it's really difficult. It's like, do I move and miss out on the heals because other people do the heals while I'm moving? Or do we, um, or do we risk it? And I decided to not risk it, and I got punished for it. I mean, I still improved from 45 to whatever the fuck, uh, 8th or whatever. So, big improvement. Get this higher, so high, oh, oh, oh. Now we get dispels out. Jesus. I'm just gonna pop my mana pot to get these dispels out because I don't think other people are dispelling right now. Feels bad, but I did like four of those reses too, which makes no sense. Feels bad when you do a shit ton of reses and you're oom and then you have to do all the dispels, but you know what? If I'm still getting improved parses, I'm not fucking losing sleep about it. <laughs> oh my god, now I have to dispel everyone again. Fuck this instance, dude. I'm the only person dispelling. It's okay. On trash, I don't really care. I I'm not really going for whole raid parse. Well, I guess whole raid parse is only bosses. I'm not going for trash parse. I'm not going to use a dark rune to dispel, though, so people are just going to have to suffer with this. Because I'm oom now. <laughs> just reapply my mana oil while we tick a bit. Can we get much time? So Welps! <laughs> That's a 50 DKP minus! They're fine, I'm just gonna keep drinking. Oh, I need to pop a gap too! Oh shit, I can't gap now. Do I gap or mana pot? I think I gap. Because I don't think I need mana on this fight. Look at all these people dying. Fucking cringe, dude. I'm not tanking anymore. <laughs> Poor Wolf Shadow, dude. Okay, I don't know why we're, like, skipping Shaz, but that's okay. It'll give me more time. There's Someone probably needs a cooldown. They probably called it out in chat. I'm just not in there. Can we get much time? There we go, we popped my gap, so at least we have a gap running. So there's a chance that we actually get my mana pot for this fight. I guess we're not going for speed anymore because we had so many deaths. But honestly, this has been a pretty fun raid for me. So I'm not complaining too much. And I also have my big heal off cooldown, my self heal. So I'll be able to bang that out. So I'll in 
not intentionally, but I'll be able to stand in for basically one more arcane explosion and just heal it off. Um, so, huh? Okay, I don't know what's going on now. <laughs> okay, we must be waiting a really long time for potions, because I'm going to have my potion for this fight now. Uh, okay, Monkas. Did we forget that there's a boss? <laughs> there's no way we're waiting for cooldowns that long, right? Like I literally didn't pop a, I didn't pop my potion until like halfway through that, and I, st I still am gonna have my cooldown for this fight. You're out of memory, rip. I'm um. So high, oh, oh, oh. Ooh, ten second pull. I'm not gonna be able to get mana by then. I just have to drink now. I'm gonna have to start from a suboptimal position, but that's okay. Okay, this is really bad. All right, whatever. We can make this work. Uh, I'm in combat now. People haven't taken damage yet, so it's fine. Uh, dispel the boss. And now we start wailing. Oh, sweet. I missed my trinket, and that's fine, because now I want to pump. Let's go. Let's go. I don't want these people to die. Oh, I got to innervate. Okay, I can just do whatever the fuck I want. Wait, what? 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 Where'd the boss go? <laughs> what? How did we save 25 seconds? Okay, that, okay, that waiting was clearly to do something, and I, uh... Something happened. Uh, yeah. I spent a GCD on a dispel. Mistakes. <laughs> I purged the boss. What the fuck was that? A nice raid leader pulling before the group's ready? I mean, clearly we were ready. <laughs> no, we don't, we don't need mana for a fight like that. You, you can tell by the way that I didn't use any of my mana on that fight because I literally didn't have time to use it. I cast max rank for every cast. Like, I burnt mana as fast as I physically could have, and I had infinite mana. Okay, this is about to get spicy. I don't have my cooldown, so I can't really quick heal people here. Uh, okay, so I can probably pop a GFPP now for this next boss. I think there's fire damage. Let me check. Okay. MC, this is upcoming boss. What is this bitch's name? Uh, Sulfuron. So it's like a 37 second fight and damage taken. Did I take any fire damage on this? Ever? No, I don't even take damage on this fight. Okay, so there's no reason to pre pop here. Uh, I mean, I can pre pop. Here's a dog coming, so I need to not get fire breath on this. I'm pre-popping for Golemag. So I need to preserve this for a long time. I'm stuck at SC Kimu. Oh, uh, uh, restart PC. Uh, no, it should be control alt, right? Control, control alt, control shift alt. I don't fucking know. Something in that territory. He tried plugging in a second keyboard. Uh, maybe control A D if you're stuck in the monitor. But I'm guessing you're stuck in a shell. If you're stuck in the monitor, then control A D. Oh my god. Fuck yeah. Oh, I think I ate into my shield on that. Oh, uh, whatever. Don't really care. I'm just on dispel duty now. I'm gonna go oom on these dispels, but that's okay, because I'll be fine to drink in now. So I want to get some dispels off and then get my drink off here. I need to get a full drink off for this boss, so I have to stop dispelling now. It's too risky. Too much chance I don't get my uh uh drink. 
Sometimes it's right control plus right alt. Yeah. Is that Kimu or is that, um... Who is, uh... Is that VirtualBox's right control? God, I'm feeling so much better. I was feeling all dizzy when I started this stream. Feeling better now. Probably because I'm distracted. I think it's VB. Visual Basic. You think it's Visual Basic? I think you're visually basic. <laughs> yeah, the hacking language. That's how I started off. Let's nail these heels. Let's fucking go. Come on. Let's get some rippers in here. Oh, that was a mispredict. Come on, enrage bosses, do damage! Fuck! Rapid healing's gone. Fuck my butthole. Cringe. Nice. What's a new record, though? Dude, we're slaying it tonight. We're doing great. Was that an improvement? There's no way. Ah, seriously, I lost a Zelda on that? Fucking cringe, dude. Zelda knows how to play that fight so much better than I do. I have a 649 on that? Oh, I think... Oh, I improved. I improved by 50 on that, but Zelda still beat my ass. Dude, I don't know how to heal on that fight. I think Zelda puts out more renews. Honestly, I probably shouldn't have trinketed that way. I mean, I, I think I trinketed at the right time, but I think I should have not trinketed and done, like, hots. I don't know, dude. I don't know how Zelda got fucking heals there. Uh-huh. 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 All right. Is it working? You're stuck. You're stuck. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I mean, you can control alt, then go to a different VT, and then kill all Kimu. <laughs> if you can, if you can afford to kill Kimu, that's you know, that's in play. Uh huh. Uh <laughs> <laughs> I've definitely done my fair share of that. I mean, I did that earlier this stream, didn't I? On that machine. Well, I tried to and I failed. I couldn't log in. I don't know if I typoed my password. I don't think I did. I think, like, something was really fucked. Whoa! I pulled a dog in the back. My bad. I mean, there's nothing we could have done. I don't know if I did that. I mean, I was back there, but it was. <laughs> we were gonna get it regardless. It's not my fault. Hashtag not my fault. Bad pulls, bad tank. Uh, something like that. Surprise! Uh-huh. Uh-huh. What do I want to do on this? Honestly, I like almost want to like brooch. Nah, we'll Hazra. I'm gonna assume that. Oh, Rage Mom. Okay, sick. I respect that. I fucked the Rage Mom. That means I can get in a better position. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, let's get some renews out. Oh, fuck me. Kill that Annihilator so I can drink, baby. Ooh, I got my drink off. Let's go! Oh, my God!
All right, Melee, be retarded. Come on. Do dumb shit. Oh, Jesus Christ, I can't find a heal to land. There we go. Okay, now is probably a good time to pop. That was completely overheal. That was a mistake. That's an overheal. I'm going to cancel it. Okay, now I don't care about overheals because I have Innervate. I mean, I do care about it because I'll still go Oom um on this fight if I'm too aggressive here. Oh, maybe not. Holy shit, we're doing so much damage. What the fuck are we doing, man? Oh, shit. Maybe I do Renews. I'm going to switch to Renews. This is, this is really greedy. This requires that we take consistent damage through the rest of the fight. And then I have to switch off Renews like 10 seconds remaining in the fight. I might pre-pop my Dark Rune here to be safe. Oh, shit. Okay, we're almost at Execute Phase. I'm still getting dividends off these Renews. Okay, now we're going to go for Biggies. This is the fight I really have to improve on, but man, I don't think I'm doing it. Oh, did I cancel that? No, I just overhealed. Okay. Yeah! Fuck. Yeah, Zelda had me crushed, and Zelda probably only... No, Zelda did greater heals. Okay, I just misplayed that then. Oh, the renew was a mistake then. Fucking cringe. Zelda always wins on renews there. Are you fucking kidding me? I'm... Still fucking ass on that fight. How? Did I pop my trinket at a bad time? Probably. Probably should have waited later. Oh, I fucking regret that, dude. God damn it, dude. That was bad. On a scale of 1 to 10, 0. Fucking weeb shit's cringe. No, we shit's fine. I'm just not. Uh, the fucking cringe. Okay. Okay. I played wrong. Or something. Wait. 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 No. T2. T2 fucks me here. That's 100% it. Zelda got like 30% more healing from T2. Let's see. Let me look at the logs. 100%. Because Renew's really good on this fight. But so is Greater Heal. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let's see how much Zeldi did with indirect renews. Yeah, Zeldi did 34% of her healing was fucking renew. 300 healing per second of renew. 515 base Greater Heal. And I did 691 of base. Okay? Okay? That's just a T2. Okay, that's why I'm getting fucked on that boss. Legitimately, that's insane, dude. 300 healing a sec- like, hat- like, oh my god, that's nuts. I'm blaming it on that. I still could have played better, but legitimately, I don't think I could have made up for 250. I- I- I don't think there's anything I could have done. I used my trinket, I nailed all but, like, two of my heals. I think two of my heals were bad. Yeah, I had 40% overheal. I missed, like, two heals, but I think they crit. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not happy about it. Fuck me, dude. I gotta get my tier two. I think I have a good parse on this fight. Okay, Zeldi's going for a news on this, so I have to go for heals. I have to go direct heals. And, okay, it's now trinket time. And I nailed it, maybe? Come on! Come on, let's go! No, he died! Fuck! When your target dies, you get so fucked because I had two seconds invested in that target I didn't heal! Fuck me, dude. And I got aggro on a healer. Ah. Fuck, dude. I think I can pray healing here, though. Which is a unique situation. Yeah, that was actually definitely the most healing per second I could have done there. Which is rare. Like, normally, prayer healing is no good. Uh, okay. Let's see. How am I doing on mana management? Not great. Ah, I'm doing fine. Uh, honestly, I can do another prayer healing, which is ridiculous. 2603? Mm, fuck me. That wasn't great. Lightning, baby. 
Okay, okay. I just can't fucking land a heal on this fight. Jesus Christ. Well, I landed one heal here. Okay, there we go. And now no one takes damage. This is where I should, should like, switch to just, like, fucking nuking the boss so the fight goes faster. So I don't get amortized as hard. Oh, come on. And that's fight. Ah. <sighs> Once again, Zelda has me crushed. With greater heals. How? Okay, I have to look. Is this another fucking tier 2 fight? Let's see. Let's see what Zelda did on this bitch. Uh, It's not up yet? No, Domo. Yeah, once again, Zelda had 24% healing from Greater Heal. 150 healing per second from Greater Heal. Like, how the fuck am I going to compete with that? <laughs> Definitely used Trinket way better than I did there, though. I didn't use Trinket effectively. I also pulled Aggra. I'm blaming that, too. Let's see. Did Zelda get hit on this fight? Yeah, Zelda got hit, so that's not an excuse. Who is this on this track? It sounds like Andy Milanakis, but this isn't Andy Milanakis, is it? No. No, it can't be. You don't have AC? Nah. No, it's not Andy Milanakis. It's, it almost sounded like it, dude. <laughs> Fucking rip, dude. Uh, and I'm out of fire prots, but whatever. For this fight, it doesn't matter too much. I mean, it actually does matter a lot, but whatever. Warden runs user level? Yeah, it's pretty cringe. Do you know Andy streams? Yeah. Yeah, he did, uh, he did some stuff in GTRP back when I watched GTRP. That's kind of how I found out he streamed. I think he mainly does IRL streams now. It's my show, I'm Andy Milanakis. <laughs> what a legend. What a shitlord. Shitlording before shitlording was shitlording. <laughs> Warden is a lot of machine learning. Oh, scary. Oh, no. Wow, how am I going to bypass a fucking AI-based anti-cheat? Oh, no. AI, the pinnacle of cheating detection. Definitely isn't just a fucking pattern recognizer that's easily defeated by changing a, a bit. <laughs> Literally an antivirus signature. I think being by melee is correct here for parses, but I think my parse is okay on this. I don't think I can improve from where I'm standing. Man, got it. Motherfucking monster. Yeah, I'm number six world on this. That's going to be a hard one to beat. I mean, I said that about number five, and I beat a number five this week, didn't I? It's fucking crazy, dude. Oh, I didn't get my drink off. Oh, well, doesn't matter. There's really not much mana consumption on this fight. Overgrown Carrot, how's it going? How's your stream? I start another job? No, no fuck no, I'm not, I'm not. I'm not working for a company, dude. Do I look corporate to you? Zeldy, die. Please die, Zeldy. Die and I'll come take your heals. Okay, this is great, actually. I'm just going to stand in with melee for a second. <laughs> Just knock me into melee. Pop these off. Woo! 
Woo! Sorry, Melly, if I kill you. I don't know if it's good for me to be here. And rapid healing's done. Okay, now I can leave. <laughs> Fucking nailed it, dude. Oh, I got innervated by a felon because I'm an idiot. That's okay. All right, let's see what we can do here. Oh, fuck me. How do I improve on this fight? Okay, well, I can't have that dude on me. How do you use a GCD on a fear? Feels bad. But we haven't burnt my innervate yet, so that's good. And these are all going to be coming for me. That's okay. We'll put out some renews. Beautiful. And let's hit Zeldy. Oh, I kind of want Zeldy to die, but I'm going to I'm going to heal him. <laughs> he was he was the best target to heal. <laughs> I want him to die so I have more less contention on heals. <laughs> uh, it sounds like a dickish thing, but I know Zeldy dreams of the same shit. Don't act like fucking other healers don't dream of the same deaths. <laughs> Holy shit, how much damage is Melee gonna take today? A lot. A lot. Oh, Zeldy's dead! See you later! Get the fuck out of here, kid! Time for me to- No! No! It was strategic death for a fucking- For a fucking soul stone! No! No! <laughs> fucking scammed! <laughs> Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, oh, I'm taking so much damage! Kill the boss! I'm home! I'm gonna have mana in a second here. Seven seconds. Get the fuck out of here! Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Shit. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Self heal? Oh, my! I had a soul stone! I should have killed myself! Fuck! Oh, fuck! This is ridiculous! I'm dead. Oh, I still beat Zeldy. Well, I beat my parse. All right, and this is where you go, uh, Zeldy. Nice try, kid. Okay. <laughs> Dude, the last twenty percent was so tragic for me. <laughs> I died so hard. <laughs> that was a hundred. That was a record. That was a world record. Oh, Zeldy was so close on me too. <laughs> oh my god, dude. I probably could have done 700. Like, I literally could have done 700 if I didn't die at the end. I don't know what I could have done better to not die. I think I self-shielded all the times I could have. I should have recognized the soul stone, and I should have waited on the soul stone because I don't think I was dead long enough to drop aggro. So I think I picked up the mobs right when I respawned after the soul stone, and then I died again. So there's a lot I could have done to improve. <sighs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay, well, that's a hundo. <laughs> oh my God. All right. Trash rag loot. Okay. Fuck me, dude. Oh. Uh, I need this.
Yeah, tier two is stupid strong. Morning, Dev Angels. How's it going? Woo! That was sweaty. I'm really just looking for tier two pieces from this loot. I don't really care about anything else from loot. That was actually the most fun I've had in a raid in a long time. It's fucking great. That's just a strict upgrade. Uh, I lose 2 MP5. I gain f 6 Spirit, which is doesn't make up for the MP5, but it's definitely better. I mean, it's way more healing. Way more ints. Well, one more int, one more stem. Definitely better. But I need to enchant it. Uh, I need three, two more? Question mark? Head... Head gloves. Yeah, because I have wrists, or waist, legs, boots, shoulders. I don't have head. I don't think I have gloves. And I have chest somewhere in the bank. It's just the chest is terrible on its own. I don't even bring it with me. I don't even itemize it. All right, interface how uh, our right, interface how we can get you to not quit some. I mean, I mean, look, I'm never gonna turn down fucking innies. <laughs> I didn't get any innervates in fucking classic, and it tilted my ass off. Our our innervates went to our uh, to our Ellie shams. <laughs> That, dude, I spent so much time tilting my fucking brains off looking at that shit, but I don't know. I mean, I, I love innervates. Like, I always dynamically play around them. Uh, I think the only one that I didn't do anything with was Shaz, but I don't think any of us predicted that to be a 25-second fight. And given the, by like 8 or 10 seconds, I don't think anyone took damage because everyone had pots and there just weren't enough arcane expl there, there was like literally 10 to 12 seconds of healing. I could maybe cast five flash heals during that whole fight. Got my one gig fire and stuff. Fuck yeah, dude. Frugo, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime. Hell yeah. Cheers. How do you play that on Arch? Uh, I'm on Gen 2. It's running in wine. I'm super excited. Full duplex. Are you going to keep your old internet around so you can do some A-B testing? I don't know. That felt pretty good. I got... How many improvements? I think I improved on four bosses. I got 100 on rag. And I, I feel like I could have slaughtered that hundo, but I got 100 on rag. Then on BWL, I guess I only improved on firemall. And I don't even know how I improved on firemall because I got fucked in the ass by zaps. Yeah, fuck yeah. Yeah, do some, like, ping tests. I'm curious if you, like, cut out 10 millis or something. <laughs> Roll priest. I think I already have those. <laughs> yeah, so my splicing is in. I just... I just got my uh, cable splice today, which was really fun. The dudes were really friendly. There are three people that came by, and we just kind of shot the shit. We made fun of photos that they had of other IT, <laughs> of other server rooms that were like messes. We made fun of IT people who had no idea how to do IT when they were like installing stuff. And they're like, okay, they're clear the IT like liaison here does not know even remotely how this server room is set up or runs. <laughs> Oh, can we speedrun this AQ-40 this week? Black ass robe. <laughs> what does that even look like? I kind of wish I clicked on it. My fingies are nice and broiled. God, I still wish I had 700 that, uh, 
that uh final boss rag what could i have gotten there like where was i before i died i died pretty late but I, uh, uh let's see Yeah, I was at 7.05 until the last 30 seconds. Oh! Oh, I was just, like, dead and moving the last part of that fight. Oh, shit. I should pop my trinket. Well, honestly, I, I used my trinket really well there when I got bopped into melee. You can inspect it from the chat. It, it just didn't show up in the chat. <laughs> this is a problem. Oh, there it is. Now it is. Now it's in chat. That's not... It's not a black robe. What? What? <laughs> like, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> it's, it's just not... It's, it's not a black robe at all. <laughs> Typical Blizzard design. Jesus. Uh, Shadowing? Trash. I already have a better one. Typical blizzard design. I don't know if we're going to Ani. I need to watch a little bit for loot, but we could maybe start looking at... Oh, God, I forgot. Oh. Oh. It's going to give me an ulcer. Just, oh, God, I did need these. Oh. Uh, Ani? Ani? Ani GDKP? T2 Helm 5K? Min bid? <laughs> Fuck, now I gotta start spamming on these. God fucking damn it. I'll probably do GTK pieces if anyone else needs that helmet. <laughs> oh. Don't tell anyone that I wasn't in fucking Discord tonight for raid. <laughs> Oh, oh, I got my glovies. Do I have any shit to trade him? Any garbage that I can trade him? No, not really. I'll, I'll give him these anti-venoms. <laughs> no, I, he needs his inventory space. Otherwise, I would. I love giving people chaff. <laughs> uh, just tell him, I guess. Oh, shit. Hell yeah. Okay, let's fix this font. How are we going to fix this font, chat? Uh, 
H264 spec uh, file type doc. Proposal to improve? Well, you could literally take a shit on it and it would improve it. Um. Uh. So we're going to Ani. I'll just fucking hearth the CH. Fix font by using Chromium? Yeah, that's not an option though. I'm not fucking using Chromium. I tried to embed the fonts. Well, that's a sketchy ass website. Oh, that's just your name. Okay. I was going to say it's very sketchy. How did you do that? Cringe. <laughs> bam, bam, bam. Re-export from preview app. Oh, holy shit. I think you did it. Dude, H to H to H. Baby. Baby. Oh, baby. Huh. Replace. Close, 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 close. Close, close. Dispel set? <laughs> Hell yeah, now you can use our shit emotes. Well, it looks okay in this bitrate. The colors look really good, but it's definitely not the best image quality at this bitrate. I think I still prefer the the, the vibrant colors over uh four two o. God, this is hot. Nice URL, by the way. Nice domain. From the douchebag, bad tells for the assholes. <laughs> Is that her incel? God damn it. <laughs> All right. Zelda out healed me in that fucking raid. Are you kidding me? All right, let, let's let's take a look. Let's take a little look see here. Let's take a look see at this dumbass shit. Okay, you want to see how dumbass this shit is? Fucking Zelda. Zelda's twenty two percent of Zelda's fucking heals came from tier two. Unless oh yeah, that's tier two. 135 healing per 22% of Zelda's fucking healing was free. Did not cost any mana, did not cost any GCDs. Get the fuck out of here, you piece of shit. <laughs> what a scam! I had to work my ass off! <laughs> Gotta take a look at that BWL. Honestly, I didn't do great in BWL. I think I wasn't super warmed up. I was still, like, not feeling too good. Uh, BWL, I don't think Tier 2 is as good. 
I out healed and beat OEL, but let's see. Wow, Zeldi primarily renew healed. I mean, when Zeldis are new healing, I can't renew heal. We're, we had 48% over healing. That means we had literally nothing to do. That means there would just, there just wasn't enough damage going out. <laughs> There's like nothing we can do about that. It's just literally, it's a fucking snooze fest. We could literally, uh, I think we could three heal that raid. My veil was bad. It feels bad. Like, this veil should have been way better. What did I do wrong on this? I got tail swiped because I don't... I just don't know where to stand and not get tail swept and not blow up the raid. Just pocket heal me. I was out of range at Kalinga. I think I had you. I don't know if you ended up taking much damage, did you? Let's see. Let's see how much damage you took. Okay, you took some... Did you die? You might have been out of range. No, you didn't die. Yeah, if you were easy to heal, I would have healed you. <laughs> 100%. But yeah, there's just no... Fucking Beedle has a snooze fest. What's this? I already have a Staff of Shadow Flame, so... I already have one. I could maybe need it for my off enchant. <laughs> Wait too long. Damn, I'm gonna have to do a fucking AQ to enchant my, uh, or not, a uh, ZG. Max. Go to Luber's ghetto? Yeah, that makes sense. I tanked like 20 seconds of the fight? Shit. I mean, that fight was pretty scuffed, to be honest. If I was in range at Kalinga, I think I could have kept him up, but I wasn't. And I was too afraid of repositioning and getting tail swept. Because I'd rather heal some people and not get tail swept. But I don't know. That might have been a bad call on my end. It's hard to say. Oops, I fear worded myself instead of this. Uh, I'll pop a swiftness of Zanza. <laughs> Sorry, next week we'll have the big three showdown in AQ. I, I'm actually curious how much tier two is in AQ. It's really only good for like ticky fights. And MC has a lot of ticky fights. Like Golemag is disgusting for it. That, like, dude, 300 healing a second for free. No mana cost, no GCD cost, no cast cost is gross. I think I actually was top heals. I was. I played okay. Doesn't look like Zeldi is using tier 2. Okay, got 10% healing. So Zeldi's either not using tier 2 for a lot of AQ, or it's just really not that good. Like, with off pieces and AQ, I feel like I remember running the Sims that... I remember running the Sims that basically tier 2 is not worth it unless you're getting a 10% benefit. Because it usually puts you back like 10% in raw healing from what you could have. I do need to fix my Anixia parse. But that's really just a matter of people being retarded. <laughs> that's, that's the real trick to Anixia. <laughs> People need to get stomped into whelps. Where's Zeldi at? The fuck you got? You got flowers? What the fuck? I'll probably flask for this, Ani. I don't give a shit. Flasks are so cheap at this point. Literally everything's free. The longest attack of hiccups lasted 68 years? Dude, 68 years of hiccups? What the fuck? A bolt of lightning can reach temperatures higher than the sun. That's a basic stat. That's a, that's a basic stat. There's, that's bland.
The mini fridge has been given fucking little little tips, little factoids during raid. <laughs> Uh, okay. Mm, sounds good to me. Are you going to play Wrath? Yeah, that's the plan. The plan is to quit the second we down KT and just not speedrun Nax. I mean, I will speedrun Nax if... If, if, if and only if, we are like definitely contending for number one world. But if we're not contending for number one world, I would rather quit, take a six month break or a couple month break, however long it is until Wrath comes out, and be not burnt out going into Wrath. Like, I think that's the plan. I think that's what a lot of people want to do. Anixia is an easy fight as long as you don't let the whelps eat the healers. Anixia is pretty hard now. It's like actually pretty hard now. How do we have a full raid now? <laughs> oh, I wasn't even in this. Oh, 396! Damn. Uh, but yeah, I'm excited for Wrath. I've never really played it, so there's a lot to learn. Thunderstorms can shoot beams of antimatter into space. Oh, just some, like, particles? That makes sense. That, that totally makes sense. Can be spotted by spacecraft thousands of miles away. Hey, yeah, that, that totally makes sense. Oh, shit. Raid one. Oh, come on. I'm in. Fuck yeah. Roll for 20. Oh, 338. Oh, Gente with the three. 402. <laughs> Holy shit. Wow, that's a spread, dude. We used to do an XC with 15. Yeah. It was really easy in Classic, but it's really hard in Season of Mastery. They made it way harder in Season of Mastery. It's significantly harder. Like, we've wiped with 30. I mean, people have to be stupid, but it's way harder. Like, you can totally do it with 20, but everyone needs to be playing well. Like, everyone needs to be paying attention and doing mechanics perfectly. But yeah, I remember doing 15, 20 man Anixias in Classic in GDKPs where everyone's ass. Like, no, it's pretty hard now. I'd say it's probably double the damage that it used to be. I can't believe we have a good document to look at now. Oh... Oh, looks like Ariel right there. That looks like an MS Core font Ariel. Roll 420. Come on, we got to win one of these bets, dude. Cross gambling so good, dude. It's such a good add-on. <laughs> Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. 418! Holy shit! Holy shit! I'm getting paid big time. Big time. LaCroix undercut Armina. Armina getting safe. Oh no, LaCroix typed the wrong number! Oh my god, the debate! Oh no! Oh my god! For Armina, dude. 
356 gold. Easy. Easy. Pays for my consumes. I need to farm runes, though. <laughs> The hardest part about Ani is getting people here. 669? Okay, uh, I fuck with that. <laughs> I only need enough gold for like two more raids. <laughs> Roll 669. So 356 Armina owes me. Let's see if he forgets. Fucking Armina gonna scam my ass. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! 21! Yes! Let's go! Let's fucking go, dude! Oh, I dodged that shit. Woo! Woo-hoo-hoo! Woo-hoo-hoo! <laughs> God, this betting's so fun, dude. Six sixty nine. Okay, let's just keep going. I should quit while I'm up, but you know I can't. I can't stop. Can't stop. Won't stop. This time I'm I'm due to win. Wait, I already won a shit ton. <laughs> Three fifty six. Oh come on, baby, baby. Let's see what we can do. Okay, that's the middle of the road. Ooh, 659 from Stabstick. Oh, Wayne, it's paying out. Wow. Wow. Wow, that's a big payout. Wow, what a spread. <laughs> Dude, why is cross gambling so fun? Need fear word for Neff? Technically not Neff. Technically, Anixia. Sorry, I'm locked. Scammed. <laughs> Alright, oh, come on, summons. This is the hardest part of Ani is getting people here. But I need to be here for this helmet. I need it. Just give me the helmet. Give me my fucking three final pieces. Bink them all in one night. That's stupid. What a week for me, if that's the case. I mean, it's already a week for me. I got massive loot this week. Getting rewarded left and right. <laughs> oh, 1001. Let's go. That's what I want to see. Real, real gold. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> oh my God. Everyone, everyone's fucking rolling for a thousand gold. No one gives a shit, dude. Sorry, my goldfish is drowning. <laughs> I, if I tripled my gold, I could enter? <laughs> 429? Okay, I'm secure. 981? Wow. 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 Did Kalinga get upset? What did he roll? He wasn't even in there. It's a Wi Fi chipset. Huge. Back <laughs> with the guild. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> There's a Wi-Fi chipset. I got fucked. I probably didn't look as hard as I could have. 1250 this time. Run it back! I don't know. I feel bad because Project Zero found bugs in it, but it was in a different chipset. Well, it was in... The same chipset with, with different features, and I don't think that bug was in it, but I still feel bad because I still should have been able to find a bug in it. 
Fucking massive regret. I think I was burnt out. I wasn't really trying. Okay, a 403. Middle of the road. Ooh, 1068. Oh my god, but no one's hitting low. Krushkov? <laughs> god, we're shitlords, dude. Just Jeremo? I'm getting the- I'm going inside. Bug is bugging me out, I know, dude. It was just unfortunate. Ah, uh, this is 6.30. Anixia! Boom! Five K roll next. Fuck y'all, five K roll. I got the gold. <laughs> gonna Armina better pay up. I'm gonna fucking kneecap him. <sighs> Alright, chat. I think I'm gonna do Ani and end the stream. I think I would rather have a maintain my sleep schedule and stream at a reasonable hour at some point in the future rather than, oh, uh, I don't know. I've got company in town this week, so I'm probably going to have a reasonable weekend anyways. I don't know. I don't know. What would I do? I'd read through this codec and get tilted. Maybe parse one, just the core level. Hmm. Monkas. Double pull these. We'll pop a flask for, for Ani. Classic. Mage blood. Oh yeah, we're double pulling. Let's go. This is this is hot. This is spicy. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Oh my god. Oh my god. We're cha Oh my god. Oh my god. We survived. No deaths? No, Frugo died. <laughs> Poor Frigo, dude. Getting smoked. Alright. After you're done wiping on Ani Trash. Alright, what's our strat for this fight? How do we cheese it? Do we just intentionally pull some whelps? That's a that's a path. Is LD Pop trinket for that? I don't think I had. Yeah, only fire prot would make sense here. Oh, uh, yeah, let's start blasting out some fear words. It'd be nice if I got wisdom or gift of the wild or arcane intellect. You know? I don't think I've seen an arcane intellect tonight. Have I? <laughs> Literally missing 500, 600 mana every fight? Fucking mages, dude. Mages are the laziest class in the fucking game. They have a one-button rotation, and they don't put out their goddamn buffs. <sighs> What's our number to beat for Ani tonight? Nixia. 342. I'm number five world with 342. I'm pretty sure I have a better parse on Ani on my other healer. No, 249. But it is on though. That's still a 15. Oh okay, shit. Okay, I probably won't I probably won't beat my parse here. But let's see what we can do. Let's work some magic chat. Let's get some let's play this perfectly. Unfortunately, the main problem on this fight is there's just literally not enough damage that goes out. 
perfect time to pull, actually. The dragons are in a good spot. So, yeah, one more take a drink. Bam! Let's go! Let's go! I'm in here. Ooh, I gotta get that heal! Oh, I'm gonna get tail swept, but that's okay. If I get tail swept, I get swept into the whelps, which is exactly where I want to be right now. I would love to be in the whelps. Oh, fuck yeah. Okay. Honestly, if I can keep getting tail swept to the side there, that's probably pretty good. Oh, fuck. I'm gonna overheal, and now I missed the heal. Oh, I made, the, I made a mistake there. I should have flashed. Dude, I'm getting fucked on these heals. Okay, we did get a lot of whelps at least, so that's good. Okay, and here, mana pot. We still haven't used our trinket, but there honestly hasn't been a great trinket window yet. Well, we lost a healer, which is perfect. That helps. So I should be overhealing into Kalinga and hoping that I hit a like 1k heal. There you go, there's a 600. Really, I'm just looking for a heal on this. I can get, uh, okay. Oh, 700 on that. Nice. Oh my God. I didn't get anything off that. That 3k hit, I got nothing. Fucking batching, dude. This game sucks ass. Okay, next phase. So now we're going to have basically all of these, um, all the warlocks are going to tap. Okay, and now we need to watch for where fireballs are going down. So whoever Anixia targets, we need to not be standing by them. So I'm standing by Surfin. Uh, just Surfin is who I'm standing by. We can share this mound as long as we uh, move off it when someone gets it. So breath. Okay, I probably should dodge it. Well, I don't think this fight is long enough for me to use my trinket twice. So I'm just going to hold my trinket until it's perfect. And good. Oh no, I didn't get my heal off. Oh, and Zeldi's gonna. Oh, Zeldi. Oh God, the tragedy. No, no, I missed so much healing there. There was so much good healing. Fuck. Okay, I'll make up for it. I'll make up for it by having more mana. Okay. Okay, Zeldi has full mana. Okay, we're fucked. We gotta snipe these with shields. Dark rune, beautiful. Heal through the dark rune. That's exactly what I want to see. Oh fuck yeah! Let's go! 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 Oh, there's a lot of damage somewhere. I gotta find it. I gotta find these people. Fuck! Don't heal me! Shit! No! Oh, and I just used my trinket. Well, that's game over. Well, this is a terrible parse. Fuck me. Dude, there's so much damage missing. How did I get fireball every time someone took damage? I got fucking bombed. Every fucking time. Every fucking time. There was a lot of damage to heal. I got bombed by someone else. I'm so fucking sick of this game, dude. I'm gonna retire. May die. Please don't die. Oh, now I can self-heal. Beautiful. Oh, okay, 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 okay. We're recovering, we're recovering. Uh, I'm gonna miss that heal, so I have to do something here. What do I do? Someone needs to take damage. Well, I just need to get this heal out so I can start healing people. I didn't use that cooldown well, but whatever. Fuck it. Doesn't matter. Let's go. Come on, come on, come on. No overheal, perfect. Neff, I'm gonna flash heal. That was a mistake. I could have landed a long heal. Stab, I'm getting a long heal. No, I'm gonna get sniped. God damn it, son of a bitch. Cartman, could have. No, I couldn't have long healed. Dude, why is Onyxia not down yet? Like, come on. This is cringe as fuck. Are people even trying? Stage three, there it is. Red sticks. Beautiful, and I'm gonna fear myself. Fuck the tank. 
tank can die. I don't give a shit. Uh, prayer healing was maybe a mistake there. Let's go here. And let's see what we can find. Can we find any good heals? That's a decent heal. A decent heal. Oh, fully overhealed. Oh, yeah, fucking pot. Okay. Well, I got a whelp on me. I'm going to fear him. Um, oh, God. I had a, a pre-heal on him. Oh, that pet died, though. Okay, I'm about to have a lot of shit on me. So, uh, I might be dead here. Do I have a... No. Ha! <laughs> Oh, I wasn't going to get a better parse anyways, so it doesn't matter. It's already a shit parse. Fucking scam, dude. Scammed. Scammed. All right, chat, I'm going to call it there. Right now is like a terrible time to stream in terms of time zones. I'm just going to sleep and stream at a better time. So... I uh, will see you around. Thanks for stopping by. Sorry for baiting you with uh, WoW and then not doing programming afterwards, but I gotta eat. Gotta make some food. I gotta pass out. Uh, I gotta have a normal sleep schedule this weekend. So, uh, did my helmet drop? No. Okay, this game sucks. See you later. I'm gonna send you off to somewhere. Let's see who I can find. I'm gonna send you to Leah T Codes. She's still streaming, which is wild. She's She's been streaming for a hot minute now. Uh, it was 356. Uh, 356. Uh, okay. <laughs> Trying to fucking scam me. Alright, have fun. Be nice to Leah. Uh, she's got a, she's got a plushie in the background, so that's, that's why I'm sending you there. <laughs> See you later, y'all. Have fun. Behave. Be nice. Have a good night.